What's up? Oh, TV only. Hope everyone's doing well. It's more Pikmin 2. You guys aren't going to believe this, but literally just before I got started, I heard it. I heard it again. I just got this mic fixed and I heard the little like thump noise. That thing that noise from Sekiro. I really hope it 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 was just like I don't know. Some kind of uh just ele electrostatic whatever. Man, I hope my mic doesn't need to get repaired again already. That would suck so much. Now I'm like freaked out though, because it's like, oh my god, really? It only did it once though. And it was like really quiet, so I don't know if it's the same thing. Anyways, more Pikmin 2. Uh, we are going to have fun playing this game. I'm excited. H Hello, Desert. My birthday's tomorrow. Oh, well, that's cool. I might not be around tomorrow, so happy birthday. If I don't see ya. So, last time. We were pretty much still just starting this game. We only went five days in um, and played only for like three hours. I had to stop because of my allergies. It got really fucked up. Uh, but I guess we're still like exploring caves and stuff. So we have the Valley of Repose and the Awakening Wood. Uh, okay, I'm trying to take a look at this, like, this screen really quick. So there are, like, question marks. So I'm assuming, like, those are completed caves. So there's two mystery caves here I haven't done. And then there's another couple here. I wonder if I should go back to the valley then. Maybe I should. I don't know. I'm not sure where to go right now. I could explore a bit. Above ground is currently at two, so does that mean I've got, like... I have two treasures, right? Remember the Piclopedia. I'll read the Piclopedia, don't worry. I'm just trying to figure out what to do right now. Um, after the first day, I'll read the Piclopedia some more. You can't do more of the valley yet. Okay, well then I'll go to Awakening Wood. Do you have the radar yet? I thought you have it by default. Do you not? Whatever, let's go. Again, hope everyone's doing well. Hope my mic isn't broken. I hope it... it I, I don't know what the... F that, every time I hear a little noise, it freaks me the fuck out now. Good morning. The white Pikmin are lodged with the purple ones in my hall. Oh. The two types are sleeping well and do not quarrel. I have made them most comfortable. Oh. You can call out the white Pikmin by standing in the light beneath me and pressing A. I thought we already saw this. On a separate note, be wary of overworking yourselves. Taking a break can be courageous, too. Okay. To retire early for the day, press plus and then right on the thing. Oh, so you can end days early, too. All right. Oh. Okay, Wiimote's working. What's my battery at? Full. There's no time limit this time around. Well, there's no day limit, but there is um, day time limit. Oh, the days are timed. What's up, Ravi? What's up, everybody? Okay, let's see. Where I don't even know where to go first. Uh, let's see. I've done... So I've done both of those holes. I need to get the blue Pikmin now. I just got white Pikmin, so I think I can go... There's a couple gates around here I think I can open up now. That I think I needed them for? Like, I need to get through there, I think. To get to the blue Pikmin. Let's see. I'm gonna go explore really quick. As this dumb asshole. I hate this guy, Louie. He's a jerk. This is all his fault. 
Uh, okay, so... Right, I crushed the bag. I would have to throw everything up here. I can walk through here and that... But I need yellows for this! Huh? <gasps> Look at them go! These... The berries are just murdering these poor little frog babies! Look there! Wild blue Pikmin are chasing prey near the water's edge! Perhaps by observing these wild specimens, we can understand more about their true nature. Desert, you forgot the voice. Oh, right. The, the, that. Oh, God. What was it? It's like several filters. I'm a powerful. I was momentarily a trance. Well done. Now, back to work. Was that it? I think that was it. Wild Berries in our natural habitat. Wait, but how the fuck do I get past this? Don't I need yellows for this? Because aren't yellows like electricity now? I learned that from Smash Brothers. Yeah, you do. So where the fuck do I get yellows? Maybe... Okay, wait a minute. Well, this is a poison wall, right? So I need white Pikmin for this. Maybe I'll break down this wall. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go get my boys. Let's see. How many do I got? I got 15 of them. How do they make a wall poison? I don't know. It just has poison gas around it. So... Let's go to where Louie was. Whoa! What were the white Pikmin called? Uh, I think we called them Gretchens. <laughs> What's up, Charon? Charon. Sharon. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay. So let's see. Let's get them to break down this wall. Ooh, that's really loud. Is the game too loud? I wonder how long this is gonna take them. Silly off, thank you for the 13 months. Hope y'all are having a great evening. I'm having a pretty good day. Hope you are, too. It's good to see you, man. Oh, and Durgis, thank you for the eight months as well. All right, another stream with Desert P. I plan to draw you fan art of Yoshi very soon. Oh, cool. I'm looking forward to that. I'm really enjoying Yoshi's Crafted World. It's a pretty good game. It's cute. Um, this might take a while. You should farm berries. Wait, what is this one guy doing? Hey, get back to work. Is Olimar not affected by poison? I guess not. Uh, okay. Well, then, let's switch to... Let's get some berries so I can, like, make some more spray, because I don't have any. Yoshi is your boyfriend. Oh. Is he? He seems like a nice boy. Okay. Did my mic just pop? Question. Weird question. Did it? Better not have. Better not have. No. Okay, you didn't hear it. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, if you guys hear anything like that, though, please let me know. It means I have to get it repaired again. Uh. Okay. Wait, why are you climbing again? No, 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 no. Get back down here. Hey. All right. You need to gather the berries. Thanks. Now get this one. Just get a Yeti. I have a Yeti. I don't like the Yeti. I have a Yeti Pro, even. It's not my favorite sounding mic. Eddie the mean old Yeti. Me not sure! Get a Scrotemeister 69. Okay. That sounds like a good mic. Who, who makes that one? Okay. Um... I think we have all the berries we need. 
Maybe I can break down this wall. Oh, wait, no, I need blues for that. So where can I go now? Hmm. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I'm having, like, weird mic issues happen a lot lately. Ever since I moved, it, this is, like, some bizarre shit. I'm really hoping it, was, it wasn't anything, though. I mean, maybe it was just static or something built up in the mic and then it just, like, discharged really quick. Because the actual thing is, like, the reason why my mic was broken before was that when I moved, the capsule got damaged. But it should be fine now. Go wherever your heart desires. So I'm gonna build up my reds a bit. The wall is finished. Wait, how do you know? Did I miss, like, an audio cue? Hold on. Uh... So now I... Hit minus. Okay, and that switches back to here. Oh, it is done. Okay. What is this shit? What did you guys find? What is this stuff? Is that... Okay, is this something I can pick up, or...? No. All right. Well, what is this? Huh? 15 out of 1. Oh, is this like... Oh, okay. I see. Oh, but you only need one, though. I'm gonna scout ahead a little bit. There's a dice up there! I should go get that. But wait, how can I bring it back? Can I just walk over here? Yes, I can. Okay. This is really neat. I like the changes that this game has made to, like, I don't know, just the Pikmin formula in general. It feels like there's a lot more to do in this game compared to the old one. Days feel like there's a- just- it just- these levels feel like they're filled with all kinds of shit to do. Um, wait a minute, actually, I need a- I need a few of you over here. Oh! God, God, God damn it! This game is a much meatier experience. I- I agree. I wasn't sure what I what to expect with this. I thought it was just going to be more of one, but it seems like it's trying to do a lot of things differently. The procedurally generated dun dungeons is a really neat idea, too. I, I can't actually see... Oh, 15. Okay. I'm going to throw some red Pikmin up here, too. Louie could help you get all your Pikmin up there. I just realized that. I just realized Louie could have helped me throw shit up there. No, damn it. What are you two doing? Stop slacking off! Wait, what? Why are so many of you, like, scattered? What the fuck? What? What are you guys doing? Okay, who else is scattered around here? Can you throw Louie in this? No, that's a Pikmin 3 feature. I did some research on Pikmin 3, and I... As much as, like, I really, really like where that game went in terms of design, it seems like it made a lot of amazing quality of life changes, and it looks really pretty. It also rolls back on a lot of things. For example, you can't do this in 3. You can't do this. And you, and you hear the cute little tune? That doesn't happen in 3. I don't get that. Why did they do that? They just, like, made it different. They, like, rolled back a lot of core things. It was really strange. Um, auto- there's an auto-targeting system. So, like, I don't know, some of the- the messy fun you can- shit you can do by just- or accidents that can happen. Doesn't happen. Some people would probably like that. I don't know, I- I think it- Pikmin has a lot of charm for that, too. The Pikmin do a lot of smarter shit, though, at least. Like, they can do, like, repetitive tasks all on their own. I don't know. 
I still need to play three for myself at some point. Maybe I will after I finish this one. Um, I'm still hoping, holding out for a Switch port of it, however. Chance Totem. <laughs> I mean, all Pikmin games are really cute, though. They're, they're At the end of the day, I mean, they're, they're probably... Well, they are rather similar to each other. It's just, I don't know. This game does a lot of stuff, and then it seemed like they went back on a lot of it in 3. You should get some of those purple berries, too, Desert. Okay. Let's see. How many do I need to do this? More than half? Oh. More. Okay, you guys go get those. You could have thrown the rest up first. I guess. I don't know. I don't have a big brain. Let me. I gotta solve these puzzles in my own way. Um, I'm going to tell Louis. Louis, uh, wait a minute. Uh, get. get stop. Olimar, you need to stop following Louie. How do I make him stop? How do I make him stop? How do I make him stop? Oh, there we go. It, it was C. Uh, a little too zoomed in there. Uh, oh, oh, whoop, whoop. Uh, 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 okay. Gotta learn the controls a little bit. Okay, let's, let's just go home. I think one of the cool changes in Pikmin 3 is that, like, with the gamepad, you can, like, tell other captains where to go. Kind of like an RTS. While you do other shit as another captain. You can't really do that in this. You have to, like, guide Louis manually. Ooh, new berry. Pokedex sound an ass. Okay, now we... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong shit. So now I grab these fellas. Uh, can I get any more berries? I wonder if I have time. Micromanaging a Pikmin 3 was a lot of fun. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'd like the the info dumps I've read and, and, like, watched on it seemed like it was a really, really interesting game. Cocaine Snorkeler. Thank you for the resub. Also, Sad Vega, I missed your resub. I'm so sorry. Thank you as well. Lover's Tree, Lover's Tree, that Sad Vega has subscribed for 14 months. <laughs> lover's Tree. Lover's Tree. Thank you both for the subs. It's very, very kind of you. Um... Hmm. I think we're running out of time. Yeah, you, you fellas need to get this shit back home. Tulip was a really fun stream. It's a shame, like, there aren't more games like Tulip out there. Okay. I'll send these boys home. I mean, they're gonna go home anyways since they're in the general area, but... I also like how, like, in Pikmin 3, I heard you can just kind of... Put everything into one ship. Which is really nice. There we go. One, two, three. Perfect. Games like Tulip don't sell, unfortunately. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, actually, is it true? Because, like, I don't know. I feel like it, it's a... I feel like those games are a lot more appreciated these days. Interesting, unique games that have, like, I don't know, really weird stories. Compared to, like, how it was back then. Also, like, when Pikmin, um, Pikmin, Tulip came out... I guess, like, social media wasn't really as advanced either, so, like, it was really hard to find titles like that. Oh, wait, they all became grass again. Wait, they devolve?
I thought I could come back the next day and they'd be all be flowers. Oh, fuck. They will they stay in the ground too long. Oh, right, the withering mechanic. I, I remember. I remember now. Yeah, I should have plucked them. That's what happens when you leave them uh, too long. Pikmin sometimes undergo evolutionary degradation. Leave them in long enough and they become carrots. Oh, like... Like how if you knock the uh, shelter off a slow bro, it becomes a slow poke again? Louie, it's been three months since you joined our company, and I'm sure you love it. I expect big things from you, Louie. Far bigger things than I expect from all of our- What the fuck? I hate Louie. I hate Louie, but this is all Louie's fault. Why is Louie getting praise? I literally... But Aldemar literally discovered how to save the company. Louie didn't do anything but... Get attacked by a giant space rabbit, quote unquote. And have all the carrots ate. The president is the real antagonist, is he? Louie is the Luigi to Mario that is Olimar. No! Louis is like... Wario tier. Not even. Like, because I actually like Wario. Louis is like, okay, who's like a useless asshole in the Mario series? Just completely useless. Fucking just... Smelly. Rank. Completely despicable. Shouldn't be in any video games ever. Waluigi, I agree. Daisy. No, not Daisy. Okay, maybe Daisy. Wario is intentionally antagonistic. Louis incompetent and unintentionally antagonistic. Okay, yeah, Waluigi. I have a feeling that Louis smells like poop. I don't think he showers. I'm just picking these now. I'm picking these Pikmin. I don't care if they're leaves. Desert, I'm trying to eat. Well, well, don't try and eat around Louie because you'll barf. Because he smells like feces. Okay, uh, this requires blue Pikmin. Where is a spot I can go that doesn't require Pikmin colors that I don't have? <laughs> Wait a minute, I remember a spot. I remember a spot. There was another there was another poison gate. Do you think Louie has Cheeto fingers? Louie has Cheeto fingers and will touch all your controllers, especially when you're playing like Smash Brothers and he passes you the bad controller covered in Cheeto dust. He's that guy. Yeah, it was right here. So what is this area? Okay, there's another thing here. Okay, come on. Come on, you two. I need you to work. Thank you. Okay, so now... I need to pay attention to the treasure meter, too. So now I'm gonna take out, like, 45 boys. And let's go explore. Let's go explore and propagate. He passes you a Yobo controller. Yeah, he would. Louie would definitely pass you a Yobo controller if you were playing Smash 64. And you would keep the Retro Fighter N64 for himself. And you're the guest at his house. He knows that that controller sucks ass. <gasps> Crab! Crab! Get it! Get it! Get it! I, I have the worst fucking aim. Get the crap! Get the crap! Get the crap! Got it! Just for one. 
Desert, that's a beetle. Actually, it's an isopod. Thank you. Which are crustaceans, which are related to crabs. Desert, it's a beetle. I uh, no. It's just me, Gabe Newell. There's treasure here I need to unearth. Oh, what? Is it right here? I need... You need white Pikmin. A lot of them. I'm still getting used to the aiming of this. Stop! It's okay. I saved their lives. Wait, did I... How many died? Wait, what? I think one died. <laughs> oh, no! Desert, we hereby revoke your biology degree. What are you talking about? Oh, wait, did, is the wall done? It's almost done. Let's see. There we go. Good job, fellas. Oh, yeah, you guys need to break these, too. Oh, okay. That's what these were. They were gas vents. I was like, what the fuck are these? Wheels? <gasps> oh, shit! Uh, uh, nope. I'm gonna bring some reds. I saw the eyeballs, and I was like, no! Damn it, Desert, I want death. I'm sure you'll get plenty of death in this game. I've heard, like, you can get mass extinction events in this game. It's great! No, wait, no, Louie, not you. Not you, Louie! It's like... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys remember that meme? That was a good meme. No, I don't remember that meme. Uh, it, it was really hot around E3 last year. In this game, electricity instant kills, and it's horrible. Yeah, in the in the three, it doesn't instant kill. It just stuns you. Hey, desert, make a lizard noise. I'm sure you'll hear plenty of them in an instant. When, when my Pikmin start fucking dying! <laughs> Stop! No! <laughs> desert, that meme was very mean. I like how people use it to, like, call out EA. <laughs> I remember that shit. Oh, Winter Titan. What's up, dude? Thank you so much for those. Thank you for all the gift subs you've been doing lately, man. I, that's very kind of you. I, I hope everyone else appreciates them as well. Winter Titan's been, like, just... Gift subbing like a fucking madman. And I very much appreciate it. It's, it's super nice of him. Thanks, dude. Oh, wrong. I gotta turn that off. God, people were so pissed at EA last year. And rightfully so. I think it's gonna happen again this year. Do you guys think it's gonna happen again this year? Will people be pissed again at EA? Still are. <laughs> yeah. I almost activated my stink juice. Because I pressed the wrong button. You don't even remember what happened. Um... Battle Royales, Anthem, um, all kinds of bullshit. Star Wars. It's just a mess. 
Just a, a completely tone deaf to what people want. Anthem was this year, wasn't it? No, Anthem was announced and shown at E3 last year, and it was... I don't think it was met with a lot of positive reception. Pikmin died in desert, didn't even notice. Wait, where? Where did they die? Who died? I didn't even notice anything died. Oh, this is like that game Overlord. Yeah, well, Overlord is actually based on Pikmin 1. Overlord's really funny. That's actually a pretty good game. You saw it go down one and then it went up. Maybe a Pikmin got, like, lost really quick or something. Anthem makes me unreasonably upset and angry. It seemed like a really cool, like, idea for a vertically oriented version of Warframe, but then they just fucked it up. Oh, wait, I can't get any out. There's too many. I need... I need some... Some Gretchens to unearth some treasure. Oh, wait, I have to wait. Anthem can brick your system. Yeah, I heard about that. That's pretty bad. That's incredibly bad. Do you have no purple boys? No, all the purple boys are busy. This thing requires a lot of shit. Or a, a lot of Pikmin. I shouldn't call them shit. That's very mean to them. Okay, there's something right there. Let's get it. There we go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Do it. Go, go, go. They're unearthing the monolith. What is this? What the fuck is that thing? It's some kind of nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Oh. There they go. We got the other half the world. You can't recall the last EA game you actually bought. Um... I can't recall the last EA game I actually played. Maybe Harry Potter? Like, when I was a kid? There was a point where I just got sick of their releases and I stopped buying them. Like... Probably when I was, like, still a teenager. I haven't bought any Battlefield games, actually, since, I don't know, a long time ago, I think. I remember Bad Company being cool, but then, like, that was it. Bad Company was cool because you could destroy the environment. And it was, like, edgy and funny. Oh, look, it's Australia. Geographic projection. Okay. 30% of depth recovered. This game's gonna be over so quickly. I'm making serious headway. Does your titles never fail to, dis to make me think you had a stroke when typing them? Oh. I'm sorry. <gasps> it's a nut! Pilgrim Bulb. Okay, how'd you come up with that one? Oh, you're not even gonna tell me? Alright. All right, then. Keep your secrets. Okay, I don't think I need Gretchens anymore. I'm gonna- I have to remember their names. They're Gretchens. And purples are Pauls. Put the Pauls away. And now we need to take the Gregs. 
Let's go on an adventure with the Gregs. That desert, that's a Vincent meme. Wait, what? what is a Vincent meme? Naming the Pikmin? I've been doing that since Pikmin 1! Oh, keep your secrets. Actually, I've seen that bit several times on Imgur. I think that's a- I think that bit's public domain. Oh wait, I don't have enough time for this. I need the I need a whole new day. Stealing a stolen meme, that's like a double crime. It's not a double crime. Hey, hey, Louie, hey, oh, hold on a minute. Hey, hey, you, help me, idiot. Just fucking standing around like a dumb asshole going, Olimar, Olimar. Like, what does he want? Why does he say Olimar's name so much? Olimar. Stupid fucking pear-shaped baby man, stinky-ass bitch. Fucking hate you, Louie. I fucking hate you, Louie. Tiny baby man. Okay, so to end the day early, um, what was it? I forgot the command. Be nice to Luigi. Oh, I love Luigi. I hate Louie. Louie should die. I hope Louie just, like, gets eight. Um, start, and then left. Wait, I- this is a whole different- Oh. That, I don't think that's it. Uh... Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Uh, it, well, this is on a Wiimote, so it's different. I'm holding C. Okay, holding C makes Olimar lay down. Uh... Uh... Oh, it's plus. Oh, oh god damn it. Okay. Oh, go to sunset. Okay. I thought... Wow, I'm dumb. Of course it's on. It's, of course it's on the pause menu. I come into, I fucking hate you, Louie. I fucking hate you, Louie. Desert, what did Louie do? Everything! Hold on, I need to take a call. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. We good? We good? Okay. I see you dabbing. Stop that! Stop that! Stop a dabbing, whole kid! Stop it! 
Stop a dabbing! Stop a fucking! Sorry, it was an important call. I had to take it. Okay, how many died? Uh, Z for for death, right? Wait, oh, oh, a Bulborb did kill one. Oh shit! Did Louie call you? Yeah, let's say that. Hmm. Yeah, I think a Bulborb ate one. Huh? Olimar, good work so far. I hereby promote you to perennial manager. Perennial manager. Press C to divide up work. And minus to delegate more to- I don't know why I'm giving him this voice. And press minus to delegate more to your subordinate leader. Hope all goes smoothly. Like I said, he looks like he'd have that voice. So perennial work. Interesting. Desert, you should check the link out someone sent. Someone sent a link? That's his actual voice, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty similar. Oh yeah, Piclopedia. Let's go. Oh, what, like a YouTube thing? Why are we watching YouTube? What? What is... This is like Rugrats. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> okay. Good. Hey, uh... Thanks. Let's read the Piclopedia! Okay, uh, iridescent flint beetle. Does not want to eat carrots. Iridescent flint beetle. Pili envelopens. Flint beetle family. Flint beetles are nocturnal, choosing to hide in the grass by day and stay active at night. These creatures keep undigested food pellets in their stomachs to sustain them through winter. But given the right stimulus, they will spit them out. Recent research has revealed that these pellets are enveloped in a membrane that seals and preserves them in a sterile, airtight environment. If kept at room temperature, it seems that this pellet membrane will keep its contents fresh for up to six months. The membrane may be made from the same substance that gives the exoskeleton of the flint beetle its beautiful sheen. Oh. Desert, I told you it was a beetle. Look like a crab to me. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's a cute little guy. Oh, if you hit him with the carry, he doesn't flip over. Okay, let's let's go back to the uh, the other one. There we go. Uh This is just a damn dandelion. This ain't gonna eat no carrot. Oh, jiggly. Wow. Dandelion. Taraxacum officinale. Dandelion family. This perennial grows best in locations with full sun exposure. Its flowers boast countless tiny yellow pellets. Petals packed together in a head. The species seems to have as many weed-like variants as petals. So more detailed research on these plants would best be left to a botanical research specialist. As in not me. I don't know shit about plants. Plants are boring. They don't do anything. They just sit around. <gasps> Here, have a carrot. Well, why are you throwing the car why are we throwing the carrots over the empress? I want the Oh, it's bouncing off. Wake up! Hey! Wake the fuck up! Empress Bullblacks. Oculus 
Matriarcha. Grub Dog Family. Initial observations place doubt on the cap capability of the Grub Dog Family to support a strong ant or bee like social structure. But recent studies show the family is capable of such complexity. The egg sac of the largest female grub dog within a given reign swells to dramatic proportions in response to environmental changes, such as the sudden depletion of, of, of prey species. These females temporarily take on the role of a pack matriarch. Also, in pack formation, it has been observed that nearly all males not involved in species reproduction undergo natural sex changes. Wait, this is a Nintendo game! You can't talk about sex! And, and, and what? This is crazy! This is neat! What the fuck? This game's awesome! The characteristics of such specimens are quite intriguing indeed. They said sex in a Nintendo game! It's nature. It's fine. Oh. That's kind of cool. So, the, so they're like frogs. There's that one species of frogs that can like do that too. This is a cool game. I like it. Life, uh, finds a way. <laughs> Burrowing Snagrit. Yeah! Does he eat carrot? You like carrot? Have a carrot, you stupid bird. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Burrowing Snagrit. Shiropedes Anacondi. EI Anacondii Snavian family Snavian The majority of snagrit species lie in wait to ambush and capture prey with a body type perfectly adapted to such sudden strikes it violently attacks small surface dwelling insects distributed across a rel relatively wide range Subspecies of snagrit suited to the varying soil conditions have emerged, making the snagrit the most geographically represented species besides the bulborb. Visually resembling the burrowing snagrit is the burrowing snarrow, the range of which partially, partially overlaps with the snagrit's range. While the two may appear similar, when pulled from the ground they can be distinguished by the presence of or absence of tail and wing markings. Oh, so they're just like snakes. They're just straight up snakes with bird heads. Some animal planet shit. It's great. I think that's... I think now we're up to date on the Piclopedia. I can read about treasure now, I think. Uh, Pilgrim Bulb. Grassy plains and meadows on this planet are carpeted with brilliantly colored flowers in bloom. When I entered the atmosphere on my descent from space, I was stunned by the vibrant sight. The other day, a group of white Pikmin under my command detected an object buried under the surface and immediately began to dig up this colossal flower bulb. Somehow, it hadn't yet sprouted into a towering flower. I plan to take it back to Hokotate and grow it there. My people will hail me as a botanical genius. And the mayor may even make me Supreme Flower Commander. Olimar's got some big goals. Let's see. Geographic projection. The interior of this hemisphere contains a chip coded with charts detailing a new region. I explored this force the last time I was here, but it's clear that it has undergone some dramatic changes. The plants and animals have also evolved significantly. I've given this force a new name, the Awakening Wood. I must begin to form a hypothesis to explain why the force changed so rapidly. Yeah, Louis does have a journal, but you have to unlock it and I haven't gotten that yet. Some of this stuff I don't think I read, but it's not marked as new anymore. I'd love to lay down on the grass, bask in the sun, and take an afternoon nap. But with all of these Pikmin following me, I can never seem to relax. I should remember to press C to dismiss the Pikmin and then press and hold C to take a nap. The last time I tried it, the Pikmin picked me up while I slept and carried me away to their onion. 
Hold your space, horses, Pikmin. I'm not a pellet or a piece of treasure. Then I woke up. Great galaxies. It was all just a dream, wasn't it? <laughs> did I read this one? I don't think I did. Today we searched a subterranean lair, swarming with carnivorous bugs. The name Hole of Beasts immediately came to mind. The convenient, this convenient contraption I found there has become an invaluable treasure-seeking tool. When it approaches a piece of treasure, the gadget beeps and the needle moves to the right. When all the treasure in an area has been collected, the device powers down. When we left Hokotate, I thought we'd never be able to pay off the company's debts. But thanks to this gadget, I'm feeling optimistic about the outcome of this daring mission. Unfortunately, you cannot throw carrots at the treasure. Drought Ender. That's fucking... That's Dr. Fucking Pepper! <laughs> Today I delivered an impromptu lecture on the basics of wilderness survival. As Louis' superior, it's my responsibility to teach him these skills. Walking around as much as we do generates an intense thirst, so water becomes very important. I told Louis that we have to ration our water carefully. That's what I was thinking until I found this. I was so parched that... I couldn't help myself. I drank all the water in the canteen. It tasted so good. But when I turned around, Louis gave me a cold stare. Yeah, who, well, 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 fuck what he thinks. Fuck that guy. Seven up. Seven up in a fucking Nintendo game. I often brag about my inexhaustible supply of self-control, but when I peer at this treasure, I can't help but want to take a drink. Oh yeah, that's right, I read this already, and I fucking laughed about it. Hmm. I'm gonna find, like, a bag of Doritos, and Olimar's gonna be like, I am so hungry when I look at this! Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. I didn't read, like, uh, this isn't marked as new for some reason. When I gaze at this stone, I can feel my fate being forecasted. It must know what's going to happen to me. I'm sure it sees that I'll be hailed as a brilliant visionary and brave explorer when I return to Hokotate. Olimar is kind of full of himself in this game. What the fuck? Stone of Glory. This is a peculiar object. Just looking at it fills me with a powerful sense of nostalgia. Now that I think about it, the Pikmin had a curious look on their faces when they carried it. Or maybe that was just my imagination. It's a damn D-pad. Looks better than the D-pad on the Switch. It stops saying new after a day, which is dumb. Yeah, that, that's a little shitty. I don't like that. Because now I don't know what I haven't read, because I have a very, very bad memory. At night, I have nothing to do to keep me occupied. I've been searching for something to dull the boredom. But every time I find something I want to play with, it's broken. This object is a great example. It looks fascinating, but I can't get it to function. I guess all I have to do is write in this journal. There's a D-pad on the Switch. It's terrible. The Pro Controller D-pads still fucking suck. I don't know why they're so bad. Like, I don't know, I like this one on my Wiimote. That's a good one. Cosmic Archive. The cave we searched today was lined with flame-spewing spouts. The temperature in the cave was absolutely stifling. Oh, that reminds me, I completely forgot to tell Louis about Red Pikmin. He's so quiet, I sometimes forget he's even there. This item I salvaged from the cave seems to be some kind of storage device, but I have no way to play back the contents. You know what? It's okay if you forget Louis there. No one cares. No one cares. Luck wafer. What a strange pattern. When I look at it, I can feel good fortune smiling down on me. If I could just buy a lottery ticket right now, I'm sure I'd win. Which Famicom game is that? I think that's, uh, the Mystery Castle. Mur Mur Sur Mur Sur Mur Sur Mystery Castle. The one Takamaru's from. I'm talking about this, right?
You missed the mushroom. Toxic toadstool. This dubious morsel doesn't look like it would be very agreeable with my innards. However, I bet Louie would try a bite. His appetite is insatiable, and he's always cooking up tasty meals. I'm glad that on this expedition, our ship's reactor can power our life support systems indefinitely. This will give us all the time we need to thoroughly examine all the treasure we recover. I don't care if the president wants us to hurry. I've had enough of his hassling. I think I'll move more slowly just to cause him indigestion. Olimar, you're, you're kind of shaping up to be a little bit of a dick. I thought he was so pure, now he's like... He's kind of a jerk! The purple Pikmin were somehow able to carry this massive treasure. Today we measured their physical strength using the ship's onboard beef meter Oh wait, I read this one. Yeah, the beef meter The beef -ometer. Right, right, right. Uh... This one? Did I read this one? The vivid color of this redstone reminds me of my wife's eyes when they burn with rage. Just between you and me, I've noticed lately that she's been getting more wrinkles. Oh. Now that I think about it, it probably caused her a lot of stress. Oh. When I return to Hokotate, I'll take her on a long vacation. Oh. Okay, let's go back to the Piclopedia. Did I read everything in here? I must have missed one or two things. Um... Did a weird sound just happen? That was the hog? Just hog sounds, okay. Sustraconus, Blowhawk family. Oh right, I remember now, these things can explode. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm... Uh, ever since my mic broke, I've, been, I've just been so fucking worried it's gonna happen again. Snowy ball borbs, I remember these fellas, these are cute. They're like puppy! Puppy? Get his. Panceris Pseudoculi Frosticus. Yeah, I think I read these. Yeah, I read this. Okay, I think we're up to date now. Pretty sure we are. Boopy. I love that meme. The new one going around of the, of the puppy handing you things. You missed the tape treasure. Did I? Get it. Puppy. When you are a fucking puppy. It's not a puppy meme, that's a weed meme. No, because sometimes he hands you a puppy and goes, Puppy. I have once again discovered a completely undocumented species of Pikmin. These white Pikmin can find and dig up items that are buried entirely underground. We never would have found this priceless treasure without them. Thankfully, it's the perfect stuff to patch a hole I just noticed on the ship's hull. P.S. I named the cave where I first encountered the white Pikmin the White Flower Garden. I wish you would call them by their real names. Gretchen. Hold on. Okay, I'll, I'll read the rest later. I want to I wanna play more. Perplexing pool. Let's go here. Wait a minute, is this the same? No, it's a, it's different. This isn't the same as the area in the first game. Okay, let's go explore. Some nice music. Oh, yellows! There they are! <laughs> Look, 
They're called Steve's computer. Get it right. Okay, let's see. How do I get to Yellow Pikmin? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I, I gotta remember the buttons. Okay, that's not it. So they're over there. So I have to... How do I get over there? I'm assuming that's underwater. Um... Is this a wall? That looks like one of those platforms, maybe, that I need, like, a bunch of Pikmin. Then I can maybe just get over there. What the? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go explore. I should go this way. Yeah, Olimar can go in the water without caring. There's a cave there. Uh Okay, yeah, that is a this is a weight platform. All right. I Oh, okay. All I need is a couple reds. I can just go up there. Let's uh switch to Louie. Louie. Uh I'll bring 20. Okay. So now we just go over to where Olimar is, and I should be able to raise the platform and just get to the yellows. This is the same area as the first game. It's just... The, the layout's a little bit different, but the map's generally the same. Uh... How many? Ten? Eleven? Oh. Okay. What the fuck? That bulb orb's on fire! Somebody help him! <gasps> Uh-oh. I gotta take care of this idiot. He's gonna- He's gonna tear my boys! No! Bring them back! Hey! Hey, you guys. Get over here. What are you two doing? Hey! Got him. Okay. Uh... Wait, wait, wait! Oh my god, whatever. Um... Switch to Olimar. Really quick. Uh, why are these Pikmin stuck? Oh, they're trying to get to Louie. Uh, let's switch to Louie. Okay, I, I just gotta remember the controls. Okay, grab these fellas. Now switch to Olimar. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, let's... I'm gonna toss these fellas up here. And then I'm gonna take Olimar back home. I'm sure those Pikmin will be safe with Louie. What if, like, every time you switch from Louie, there was, like, one Pikmin left, like, missing? Just every time. Like, that's the hit you get for, like, using Louie. That would make a lot of sense to me. Just, just mysteriously one Pikmin is missing for no reason. But you have to use Louie. I know, it would make the game so much crazier. Okay, Louie time. Louie! How do I get over there? I have to get past this ball board. Or... There's a treasure there. Maybe I could fend off, uh... Whatever the fuck is gonna come out of this thing. What is, what is that? What is this spider? 
Desert, the boys. What about the boys? It's stinky fungus. The boys are fine. They're building the bridge, and then I'll be able to go across the bridge, beat up the Bulborb, um, lower the gate, and get the yellows. You left a group of boys near the weight plates. Did I? I... What? I thought I got them. Oh. Get over here! There they go. Here I come, I am Cinnamon. You guys are right. It's mold that stops berry plants from growing. Wait, what? So I need to get rid of that and then we'll get berry plants? Okay, while they do this, uh... I'm gonna explore a little bit more as Olimar. So yeah, that make gives us a straight path back. What the fuck is this fella? What are you? Eh? Whoa! Okay, don't like that. He's a slug. It's called a bloister. <laughs> Pikmin names are so fucking fun. Bloister. Bulborb. Wallywog. I saw, like, a picture of names of certain Australian frogs, and they were very Pikmin-like. It was like... Noisy... Pobblebonk. Shit like that. Toady Bloister. I think, like, it should- it should definitely be... He, scientists should definitely start making more of an effort to name animals cuter things. Yeah, look up Pobblebonk. I don't know what the first part of it was called. This bridge is almost done. Oh, it is done. Okay, that's the jingle. Right. <gasps> oh shit! These are back! What? Pikmin die! Hey! Get revenge! No, get out of there! Get out of there! No! Oh my god. Oh, Viceroyal, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you for the year sub, that's very kind of you. Them guys build good, huh? Yes, they do, them, 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 them fellas. I'm gonna take on the ball board. That's what I'm gonna do. He's a fire ball board, so he's weak to red Pikmin, right? Let's see. I wonder if 20... I want, I mean, 30 is enough. 30 should be plenty. Should I bring more? I can't need more than 30. You're gonna need way more. But they're immune to fire! There's poison past him, too. I don't know if I'm gonna have time for the poison wall. Desert, he can eat. That's not impressive. I can eat, too. He is not fun. Well, no one never said he was. He doesn't seem like a very entertaining guy. He's just he's just sleeping. Then again, he is on fire. That is kind of cool. The P in Desert P stands for Pikmin. You got it! He's just a bulborb that's on fire. This is nothing! Oh god, what's up with your eyeball? Oh god! Oh god, oh fuck!
Uh, how many? How many was that? What? Why are they all stuck in his body? Can they not pick him up? Oh, there you go. We lost five. We lost five good ones today, fellas. Do you think Pikmin go to heaven when they die? Of course they do, right? Wait, what? Oh, no. Uh, is this gonna be a problem? Oh, hey! Hey! Bring him back! Get him! Get him! Fuck him up! Fucking swarm him! No! No! Get him! Yes! That's what they get. That's what you get. Mess with the gang, you get the fang. Uh, if Pikmin had fangs. Do Pikmin have fangs? Eat his corpse. I prefer that to eat his ass. Like, 100% prefer it more. <laughs> Look at them try to fit this big boy in there. Why not both? Well, I guess if you're eating the corpse, you technically are, at some point or another, eating the ass as well. If you eat the whole thing. Some people like to eat chicken butt. Like, some people think it's the juiciest part of the chicken. But the real secret is, the it's actually like the armpit of the chicken that's the juiciest. That's real, by the way. No, it's like, it's like seriously... ...tender meat. Under the armpit of the chicken. And I don't know why. Some cultures swear by cheeks of a fish. I've never heard that. What's so juicy about chicken armpits? Is it the muscle? I don't know. I really don't know. But it, it is... It is significantly, like, juicier in texture. Desert, you're a lizard. Don't lizards mostly eat flora? Leonard eats eggs. He doesn't eat any plants. He eats eggs and turkey. And roaches. Okay, did I... Did I miss any boys? I gave him egg today. He was very happy about it. How would they catch a turkey? Well... Most... Like, dwarf... Like, small lizards... If they're carnivores... They like to eat carrion, which is like, you know, dead shit. So, like, they'd find a dead bird and eat it. They'd just, like, I don't know, dive in. Like a buffet. That's how they do. How does he like his eggs cooked, Desert? You just microwave them. It's super easy. Monster lizards are so fucking easy to take care of, especially dwarf ones. He'll eat it raw, too. He seems to prefer it, like, you know, microwave, though. Desert, you don't microwave eggs. You crack them into a ball! He can eat it raw, it's fine. It's just like when it's warm and steamy, he gets really excited. Yeah, Aki monitors are dwarf monitor lizards. You microwaved an egg once and it was raw. Well, it's not for you to eat! 
You don't eat microwave eggs. Don't do that. These must be trying times for you to offer him eggs daily. No, I'm not giving it to a daily. It's like a once a week thing. Yeah, don't microwave eggs with the shell on. They'll, it'll fucking explode. Even without the shell, they build up pressure. You have to, like, cover with a paper towel. Because they pop. They go... Oh, I forgot to hit Z. Bulimar! Terrible news! I thought I went to Happy Hoko Tarte Savings and Loan, but it seems my loan came from the shop next door. All devouring black hole loan sharks. Whoops! What? President, what? Um... So wait, are we even more fucked now? Fuck off, President. Desert, I just heard a pop, Kappa. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know, but that time it was me. Maybe this company should just go down in flames. I feel like the, it's like the company represents the entire planet, so I don't know. Fiery bowl blacks. Look at this boy. This flamey boy. Have a carrot. How does he live like that? This is fine. I'm perfectly okay with the situation that is unfolding right now. Look at him eat. You think he likes his carrots cooked? What's up with his eyeball? Don't, don't draw attention to his eyeball. Come on, he's sensitive about that. Just like his lips. Oculus Volcanics. Volcanus, I'm sorry. Grub dog family. He's got like a K. Rule eye. He's cool. Bodily excretions of a highly flammable waxy substance interact with the cell structure of this grub dog skin, causing a chemical reaction that produces extremely high temperatures. What? That's fucking awesome! Oh my god. Why is this game so smart? I was about to say, like, is it gonna be a chemical reaction? And yeah, it is. Yo, this game is actually really smart. You have to ha you have to have at least one biology class under your belt to understand this game. The skin benefits from a spongy cell structure that diffuses the surface heat, protecting the creature's inner organs. Due to the astonishing amount of heat produced by this beast, it should be observed with great caution. S whoever wrote this game must have like I don't know, really liked reading just like nature magazines and like summaries on how animals function. This is really awesome. I love this feature. It's a shame it's not in Pikmin 3. Why did they take it out? This is probably the coolest fucking thing in the game. Shearwigs. Hate these guys. I'm not even gonna feed them. I hate them. Wait, what did I just... I pressed one and they turned to stone. What? Huh? What? Why? Why can't I do that? What the f- Desert, that's what happens when you use the Ultra Bitter Spray. What the fuck? It's like a- it's like a Thanos! I'm like- I'm just like... Arr. Desert, you're killing them. I, I can't believe that's a thing! Okay, well I'm definitely doing it to these. Fuck off, guy! Get out of here! Hope you're never in another game. Desi, you weren't supposed to find that out yet. I- it was an accident. I hit the wrong button. Shearwig. Hemegia volaris. Maniploid family. 
unusual for the genus, flying mandiblards have retained their wings. However, only the adult males of this species can fly. What if I just read it like this for the rest of the game? Only adult males of this species can fly. Females of this species spend most of their lifespan underground. They do emerge for a period after maturation to spawn, but never metamorphose. Are you Jabroni Mike? <laughs> Please just read it like this from now on. This is Olimar's new voice. Near the Spencer here. Swooping Snitch Bug. Scapanicus Casperans. Scarepanid family. The Scarepanids originally lived on the ground, sporting poorly developed vestigial wings. This species developed in large antennae that can be used as makeshift wings. Scapanids are attracted by the sight of large groups of Pikmin in cavalry formation and will swoop down to seize them. However, Scarepanids do not eat Pikmin, as they will drop any seized Pikmin after a short time. The reason for this behavior is unknown, but I look forward to the future research in the area. Do you guys think Pikmin eat ass? Asking for a friend. Bah. <laughs> People are like, oh god, he's Mike. God. <laughs> Can I kill the flower? Hold on. No, flower cannot be stoned. Seeding dandelion. Taraxacum ventulus. Dandelion family. It's believed that this plant produces tufted seeds with a parachute-like arm, which allows the seeds to ride gently on the wind. This increases the distribution range of the plant considerably. I once had a kid in my school, like, he was convinced you could get high off dandelions. He can't. Just a fun fact! No, you can't! Unknown. Unknown family. This is a young shoot of some kind, but what kind of tree species does it belong to? What shape will it take when it matures and grows to full height? Unfortunately, we're only able to obtain information from our portable scanners on a select few of the countless number of species we've encountered. But even if our expedition yields only brief observations on the life we encounter, it will still provide a better understanding of this bizarre planet. It's a fucking twig. Mike, what happened to desert? <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's just me! It's just me, Desert P. I was doing a bit. Had you going, had you worried. Who is this guy? Oh. Okay, let's go back to Perplexing Pool and get them yellows. Get them Steves. Your voice still has Mike in it. Is it stuck? Uh-oh. It might be. I, I may have accidentally activated my, uh, my East Coast brain. The accent is coming back. Oh, fuck. That's what happens when I, like... Okay. Like, you know, like, when, you, when you're... when you Oh, my God. It really is coming back. Okay. So, like, you know when, like, you talk around people that have, like, your accent? Um... Like, from where you grew up? 
Because I grew up on the East Coast and like people talked like that. But then I moved across the country and I kind of lost it for a little bit. And then I started streaming again. It came back. But for some reason, when I like, when I talk to like Vin and like, and like Mike, it really comes back super strong. I don't know why. Like, hey, oh, forget about it. Desert Florida doesn't talk like that, though. You're right, Florida doesn't. A everything below Maryland pretty much doesn't. Voice emulation, it's a real social mechanism. Yeah, I know, it's fucking weird. But like, yeah, there were people like where I where I grew up that, that talk like that, because like... Everything like Baltimore North kind of has that accent. Probably up to, like, Maine. Most people in Maine talk like this, you know. But, I mean, beyond that, like, a little bit south of there. Then you then you just got, like, people who talk like this all the time and, and don't give a fuck. That's that sounds Canadian. What's the fucking difference? Maine is Canada! Just in America! Wait, did a Pikmin die? No. The sound stopped existing between Washington, D.C. and New York City. You know what, actually, what about New Hampshire, though? You know, you're actually right. I've never been... Hmm. I want to explore more of the country someday. Now I live in... Olimar just farted and all the Pikmin are now really excited. That's great. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I hit the wrong fucking button again. I did it again. I did it again. Go. Desert, use them. I mean, I, I gotta use them here. I can't use these fellas. What? These guys don't do anything. Use the reds to attack the fungus. Oh, that's a... Yo, that's a good idea. But yeah, now everyone here, like, talk, talks like dance. Well, never mind that. Uh... Howdy, partner. Welcome to Texas. We don't obey the intersection laws when we drive. So if you're going straight through a green and I want to turn past you and cross over the lane, fuck you, I'm going to honk and just gun it and nearly T-bone your ass. That happened to me today. That happened to me today. I, I fucking can't believe that happened. I... I almost flipped someone off today. I, I try so hard to like hold back that shit because you you don't know who it, who's who's in the other car. That's dangerous. But I really almost flipped this dude off. He like just gunned it while I was going straight through the green light, like an asshole. Nearly fucking killed me. You've never had that happen. You've been in Texas for like five years. It's a pretty busy intersection where that was. California's way worse. I've had way more T-bone encounters in California. I have nearly died driving California so many times. There, my... You know what? This is my accent today. Hey, how are you? Hey! Oh! What's up? Hey! You wanna do... You wanna list some garbage? <laughs> Gotta kill the stinky gas holes. All right, let's go get the Steves. Let's go get the yellow Pikmin. What's up, Chuckle Fox? Oh yeah, they're all in the tree. Get, we'll get the fuck down from there! <laughs> oh. 
I am the lightning. It rained on the day I was born. You were the lightning in that rain. People were like, I didn't get what you just did, like the reference you made. That was Metal Gear Solid 4. When uh, Raiden starts like... He gets like upset. About some bullshit. Cause he's Raiden. And then like he starts talking about how it rained on the day he was born and then Snake is like, But you're the lightning in that rain. It was either two or four. I'm pretty sure it was four. Ryan is always upset. I know. He, he needs to calm the fuck down. You don't remember that. You don't remember that conversation? Actually, you know what? It was probably two. It was probably two. I think it was two. It was four. No, it was four. Yeah, because then, like, he, he, he like... Fucks. Then, then promptly afterwards, he goes on to Arsenal Gear and, like, starts electrocuting people and shit. <laughs> Desert, they were carrying the pals around. Wait a minute! What are you doing? <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Are they gonna drop? Okay. Like, what the f- What? No, Desert. Let them. No! What are they doing? Stop, 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 stop. Get, 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 no, 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 no. God. That's the yellow's food. I, I'm gonna flip a shit. I'm gonna fucking flip a shit. You assholes need to go the fuck home. If you're not gonna fucking help out, if you're not gonna help the yellow Pikmin, you need to get the fuck out of here and you need to go home. We're trying to get work done here and all you- What? Steve, what are you doing? Steve. Steve! Help your brothers! God. The white Pikmin can help the yellows. Oh, okay, so th they, they assist like whatever color they're helping. All right, get over here. Come on, chumps. Hey, Des, I just finished you watching play the X-Series on your archive channel, and seeing you slowly become more and more miserable with X5 and, and 6 was hilarious, but heart-destroying. I'm... I'm happy you found it hilarious. I'm sad you found it heart-destroying, but... I did get really salty, so... You know, my bad. God, I don't know if I'm ever gonna complete, like, what was the one I gave up on? Six? I think I just stopped playing after a while. <laughs> yeah. I- I can't. That game is too- it's- it's too miserable. At least five is beatable. Yeah, what- what was it? Nightmare Mother? Was that the boss I got fucking angry on? Desert, don't die. I'll try. The gray cube thing. Yeah, th isn't that Nightmare Mother? That thing's called Nightmare Mother, right? It was the X6 version of the devil. No, no, no. It wasn't a devil. It was literally the cube boss. That's Nightmare Mother. I'm gonna go and put my reds away and focus on yellows. 
The X5 version of the devil I got mad at, but I was eventually able to beat it. That was Shadow Devil. Right? Shadow Devil was bullshit. Go get the can opener. Yeah, I am. I need yellows, I think. It's a high up thing. What does purple spray do? You don't want to know what the purple spray does. You would hate gate. That's X8, right? I haven't played X8 yet. I plan to, eventually. But we'll get there. That's definitely on the list of games. Um, I need to finish up the X series, because, guys, I have a little bit of a predic prediction to make for E3 this year. We're going to see Mega Man X9. It's going to happen. Desert, no. No, it's going to happen. Because Capcom said they're working on a game that people are going to be, like, really, really, like... It's an old, like, title, and people are going to be like, Wow, they're making that? And Mega Man has had a huge comeback lately. For Capcom. Where, where are they... Excuse me, you're supposed to go to the fucking yellows? What? What are they fucking doing? Oh. Oh. Mega Man Battle Network should come back. It should come back. That was a decent series. There's a lot of, like, really good Mega Man series that really should come back, and Battle Network was definitely one of them. Uh, but I also feel like, um... I think because... Mega Man 11... did so well, and apparently it did do really well. And there's such a big demand for Mega Man X. And Capcom's been on a fucking roll, like, bringing back, like, old games and shit, and old, like, IPs, and new IPs. And, for April Fools, they did the fucking Mega Man X concept art teaser again. They did that again. All the major characters now have updated, like, art for Mega Man X. Based on, quote-unquote, April Fools jokes. Like, I think Sigma was this year, right? Or was it, was it X himself? It was either Sigma or X this year. It was Sigma. I don't know, that just tells me, like, they are working on something. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Sigma nuts. I, I, I know. But no, I really do feel like they're gonna bring back the X-Series again. There was a recent Mega Man TV show or something. Yeah, there was. That, that was a thing. Um, I didn't watch it. I heard it was actually not bad. The design no one liked at first, but I've heard, like, actually decent things about it. It bombed? Wait, did it really? Did didn't get good reviews? It was kind of bad. It bombed hard. I thought it was, like, actually good, though. I heard, like, it was decent. Not, like, Sonic Boom levels of good, but, like, I heard it was alright. That's weird. That that's kind of a shame. Well, uh, well, hopefully they don't make Mega Man just a cartoon then, from now on. Maybe they go back to games. It bombed because CN placed it in a trash time spot. It's just average. Captain Olimar, I have completed my research on the purple powers were discovered. Oh, ultra. Sonic Boom. I love Ian Flynn's writing. It's very, very funny to me. He's good at making jokes that are like... 
they're family friendly, but they're also like really, really, you know, at the same time, they're funny enough for like an adult to like hear the same joke and like be like, oh, a kid would not get that. Yeah, the Sonic Boom cartoon is actually really good. Ooh, Sanemi. Spicy. <laughs> yeah, Ian Flynn's great at writing. I, I think it's a shame that he didn't write the Sonic movie. By the way, we need to... I need to talk about the fucking Sonic movie. So, uh, Jim Carrey is Eggman. We all know that. Let's get that one out of the way. Eggman is a character who is dressed in all black? And has a black mustache? And has, like, boots? Hold on a second. Eggman starts off looking odd. I'm gonna read you some footnotes that I found. I'm sure you heard them before. Eggman starts off looking odd, but slowly transforms into something similar to his in-game appearance. Uh, wait, where's the, uh... There's, there's not, like, a bunch of websites I had to go through to find, like, just, like, little footnotes. Rings from the game act as teleportation devices. Sonic asks Marsden to help him save his planet, so they're implying Sonic's an alien. Wait, did a Steve die? What the fuck? But a Steve was in my party! He shouldn't have died. No, okay. Actually, they, he can't legally be from Mobius. They're not allowed to reference Mobius anymore. Like, they literally can't, because Ken Penders will go off. And, well, we got enough of that guy for, for one lifetime, especially after yesterday. Uh, Zay. Oh, two died in battle. I don't need to talk about Ken Penders. I don't need... You guys, yeah, listen. There are things in this world that are just, like... Disgusting, dirty, smelly, and plain just gross. I don't need to talk about Ken Penders. I just took a call from my load agent. He has the scariest voice I've ever heard. While you two are dawdling about, my life hangs by a thread. Get to work, suckers! Dude belongs on a list. Let's see. Uh, let's see. More Sonic footnotes before I get to reading this. Trailer opens with Sonic zooming by James Marsden's cop character. Sonic is clocked at 700 miles per hour ball on his radar gun. <laughs> He's a fucking cop! Sonic is on the run from the government. <laughs> That's like Sonic X! Marsden's character shoots Sonic with a fucking tranquilizer gun! <laughs> He's stuffed into a backpack and smuggled into an office. People ask Marsden if there's a child in his bag, but he responds saying, There is a child, but it's not his. Hilarious. Um... Sep else asks him to save his planet. There's robots invading from space? See Sonic speeding down the highway as he listens to the song Gangsta's Paradise by Coolio. <laughs> I think I talked about this before. Yeah, that, that's an old leak. That, that was leaked a while back. Fucking wow. Uh, the military is working with Eggman? What? It's just Eggman. I'm, I'm picturing Eggman, but I know I need to picture Jim Carrey in a really weird suit. One exchange in the trailer is, I was spitting out formulas when you were spitting up formulas, carries Eggman, then tells James Marsden's cop, I was breastfed, answers Marsden. Wow. 
Let's see. There's another one. Carrie arrived eating popcorn sloppily and dropping on the stage for throwing it at the audience. He then hugged Parr's domestic distribution boss, Kyle Davies. Oh, this is when they showed the trailer at, um, a con at a Paramount convention thing? Carrie then said, I like to see you save the best for last in the trailer, but this crowd deserves a real taste of what a real star vehicle is like. Carrie said, I am Dr. Robotnik, one of the most intelligent men who ever walked the earth. It's basically my origin story. Then he was, then he was told, said Carrie by Davies, Sonic is really the star. Been there, done that, this movie is nothing without me, corrected Carrie, who also suggested possible new titles. How about Robotnik conquers the world, Eggman, hard boiled. Did he really fucking do that? Jim, what are you doing? Um... The second trailer which Carrie introduced shows a comeback for his hysterics on screen as Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik, a super genius with a big black mustache, but his mustache is red, who argues with the army and James Marsden's cop, then, okay, there's the breastfeeding joke again. Uh, first trailer screen was Sonic-centric, showing the blue animal zooming across a desert like an MX missile and meeting Marsden's cop who shoots him with a trank gun. Sonic is here to save the world as it's being attacked by Transformers like robots. This is, uh, Deadline.com. Uh, it's talking about, uh, Jim Carrey and the trailer that was apparently shown. Are you fucking kidding me? This... might be the best movie ever made. This might be the funniest fucking thing that we're ever going to see in our lives. I think at this point, the directors are honestly just trying to make this, like, the most ridiculous fucking movie they can possibly make. There are this- this seems like active shitposting. This is not, like, people who don't know what Sonic is. I think they're fucking really aware of what Sonic is, and how the internet views Sonic. Like, as a shitpost. And they decide to make a movie about it. I'm pretty fucking sure that that's what's going on here. It has to be! Cause it's too on- it's- it's- it's too on point with it! This is like all the shit posts I've seen of Sonic over the last decade. Like, thrown into a blender? Uh, drank in by some- like, I don't know, radioactive hedgehog, and then shat out, and then smeared over a piece of paper and called a movie script. Like, this is active shitposting! Like a beaver. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too... It's too uncanny to be like, oops, this is a happy accident. No. Am I gonna watch it? Yeah, I'm probably gonna actually actually go into a movie theater and see this fucking trash. Absolutely. You kidding? I mean, Detective Pikachu is just gonna be a good movie. I, I did, that's just gonna be good. I'm not even worried for that one to be stupid. It actually looks like a good fucking movie. This looks like a fucking shitpost. I will be seeing Detective Pikachu, too. I, I, th I think... I think that's gonna be actually pretty decent. And I really, really, really want to hear the Danny DeVito takes. Because those apparently exist. He actually was going to voice Detective Pikachu at one point, and they did, like, some auditions with him. And apparently they, they still exist, the recordings, before they went, went with Ryan Reynolds. They just use clips from existing works. Wait, so they're not him reading lines. They like they just like took audio from other things he's done and then put it on Pikachu. I still want to see them. I still want to see those. That's really funny. That's really funny. It's like a YouTube boop. 
I want to see Pikachu talking about eating garbage. Into the toilet I go. Hey, Desi, do you want me to tell you something Nintendo accidentally leaked just now? Is it Smash Bros. related? If so, I already saw. I'm not going to say what it is. Some people don't want to know that. Uh, where should I go? I'm going to go back. You know what? Now they have the yellows, I can go get the blues. Yeah, that's right, guys. Minecraft Steve is in Smash. I wasn't going to say it, but I might as well now. And here's the kicker. I'm not even going to name the character, but I think people are going to know immediately when I say this who it is. Jammy's mode. No, not pajama Sam, you idiots. That's Shantae! Oh my god. That's it, you're the idiot. Sean who? <laughs> oh. She's in! Oh, oh god, oh god, oh fuck! Oh god, my yellows are gonna- Oh no! Oh god, oh god, oh fuck, god damn it, okay. Pajama Sam is a viable option. I know, but the Pajami's time is a Shantae. Listen, I'm not gonna explain this to you. I don't have to explain anything. Never played a Shantae game in my life. Banjo wore jammies once. <sighs> Desert, I cannot find a leak character. Why have you kicked me? Listen. They probably already deleted it. <sighs> Jammy's mode is a new game mode expansion for Shantae, Half Genie Hero, included for free as part of Summer Surprise Update. It released July 31st, 2018, and shares similar gameplay tropes found in Beach Mode and Costume Mode. The separate storyline consists of Shantae hosting the ultimate slumber party to thank her friends for and enemies for and for helping her with her recent adventures. <laughs> She'll get a me costume. No, 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 she's fully playable. Let's make a bunch of videos about how Shantae's still in this. I remember, like, someone made a YouTube video about, like, okay, so... I think, like, the creator of Shantae at one point for, um... WarioWare DIY? He made, like, a game in it that was, like... It was, it was a monkey climbing a tree. I think it was a Shantae monkey, specifically. And this video was like, like, picking this apart as a Smash Bros. link. Like, leak. 
that it was a hint that Shantae was going to be in Smash because there's a scene where Diddy is on a tree <laughs> in one of the trailers. It's like, he knows. He's trying to tell us. And they were completely serious. The micro game was called Shantae Nab. Yeah, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Do you guys remember the chairs? I'm still waiting on Sakurai to tell us about those chairs. The purple and yellow one. The fucking chairs! At last, we'll have a counter battle. Awesome. Drop two like back on they must be four quick modes, like the other types move like the world four direction. While they are indeed surviving naturally, they still seem to long for a valiant mover. I just, I just want the next Nintendo Direct to open up. And Sakurai's like, you may have noticed last year that... <laughs> I think Banutes did this bit, actually. I can't do it. <laughs> you might have noticed those chairs behind me last year. <laughs> God. You've stolen before, Desert. You can do it again. I, I guess I, I guess. Copyright bit. <laughs> You might have noticed <laughs> on the bookshelf last year, on the third row, from the from the bottom, there was what appeared to be a knight's helmet. Well, you guessed it, Solaire. <laughs> Praise the sun, he's in. You might have noticed five years ago, Reggie wore a Samus pin. Adam is ready to give orders. The Chippy Robo on fire. Why did he tweet that? What, what the fuck was up with that? Why did he... Why did he tweet Chibi Robo like being burned alive? What would Adam even do? He would just yell at people. You're not authorized to do that. And then he just he, he, he would say that and he would and then like whoever he said it to would fly off the stage and just die. He would blow himself up. Oh my god, spoilers! He would be, like, he would be Samus's hard counter. Because she wouldn't be able to do anything with him on the stage. She, he would have to say okay. That's it. Nobody cared about that game. That's not true. Sakamoto cares about that game. I think he's the only one, though. <laughs> I want, I want to kill these stupid tadpoles. Do you remember when Ridley was a Furby with teeth and bird legs? Remember when he turns into a hairy lizard? Beppy Ridley. Yep. Why would he have hair? I don't know. I have no idea. Why did they give him hair? Found the gamer goo. Has there ever been a hairy lizard desert? I need facts. No, there has never been a hairy lizard. 
or any lizard that had scales resembling hair. That has never happened. I I checked too. I thought maybe it's possible, and it it would it might be possible if that was required of them at some point, but it never happened. The only thing close to that is like um therapsids. I think. Which are mammals, like precursor mammals. Um, Scorpion the Demon, thank you for the five months. How could you, Desert? Those tadpoles just want to grow up and have froglings of their own. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do it to them. <gasps> no! Stop! Oh my god, I'm missing. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Thank you for the five months, though. That's very, very nice of you. Jesus! I am so bad at aiming! This is spray and pray. How many did... How many do I need here? Six. I just need the one yellow. I just- Oh, come on! What the f- Yo, Olimar, you wanna say excuse me? Does you aim like a TF2 soldier? Oh, what, what are those two doing up there? I don't know why sometimes I hit the number buttons. Decorative goo! It is goo! I called it gamer goo! Blue goo. It's Mario paint. Oh my god. Alright, I, I, I'm gonna have to come back for this one. I need to make sure I'm not missing any Pikmin. There's a yellow up there. Okay. Alright, get down. Come on. Desert, you should take- let some of the blues take the big meats. I will. I'm trying to build up yellows, though. Tomorrow is blues. Christmas 95, thank you for the 13 months. Treasure Bucket Bay. What, the Banjo-Kazooie level? You have enough time to go get with that part. All right. Okay, we can probably go get them now. So, uh, all right, I gotta. There we go. Just get up there. Just get up there. Oh, oh my God. Uh, no. Oh, got it. Do you remember that one time, like, that one item just, like, flipped out with the physics and just, like, yeeted off the goddamn level? That was really fucking funny. I was thinking it might happen again there. <laughs> yeah, the Libra. Logan said hi. Boof. Uh... Healing cask. Carmex. For cold sores. Oh! 
That's for herpes. Oh, gross. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> that's disgusting. Starry Cosmic, thank you for the six months. Hi, Desert. Hello to you. How you doing? Herpes. This game has sex in it. It has herpes. I bet Louie has herpes. Oh, Draco. Draco Kretel, thank you for the seven months. I don't think... I don't think they're gonna have enough time to beat this thing up completely. Let me make sure I'm not missing anyone. Alright, everyone's accounted for. You were close. Yeah, I just... It's too... I... I, I didn't have enough time. We'll get it tomorrow. But, uh, thank you for the seven-month resub, Draco. That's very nice of you. Whew. You finally got all the colors. Oh, see you later, Babot. Hope you have a good rest. I think there's some caves I can explore now with a blue Pikmin. Where will the blues go? They went back to their onion. We got all the boys. The Barrys, the Steves, the Greggs, the Pauls, and the Gretchens. Two hundred ninety one Pikmin. What? Oh, I guess. Wait, did they die from the? Te oh, right. The, the 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 snorkel bug things. I remember they got eight. Oh my god. Oh, who's this? Who's this little guy? Hi, Papa. Mama heard you got a promotion, so now she's very happy. You have lots of people under you now, right? So does this mean you're a super captain? Yeah. That's my boy. That's my boy. Let's see the Piclopedia. Wogpole. Have a carrot. They do not like the carrot. <gasps> Why do carrots explode upon impact with the water? Wogpole. Amphicus. Amphicaris. Frodenidum. Amphibtuber family. The Wallywog spawns in early spring, laying its eggs on low-hanging tree branches and shrubs growing in or near lakes and ponds. Such unorthodox, amphibious behavior is a defense mechanism. Protecting the eggs from predation by blue pikmin and water dumples. The Wallywog's wild hopping near the shoreline in early spring is thought to be a method of driving predators away from the Wogpole eggs. Any other ones? Any other new ones? Oh, the goo! You got... Oh, Survival Series. You got the Survival Series. These are selling Hokotati Cakes, a scientist and entrepreneur. Hokotati Cakes? Wait, sales pitch? What the fuck? What is sales pitch? That's a new one. In a survival situation, the most important things are water, courage, and a first aid kit. I've got water, an endless supply of courage, but I don't have a first aid kit. Sometimes I don't have a whole lot of motivation, either. I may be a daring explorer, but 
Sometimes I just want to loaf around all day and sleep. Wait, well, what if the uh, president reads this journal? Um, <clears throat> I'd never dream of slacking on the job. Yeah. Well, what about that time you said you wanted to give the president indigestion? Sales pitch gives pitches for buying stuff. A must-have medical item for explorers. If you need powerful results, this is for you. It even comes with a testimonial from our employees. Use this and fear nothing ever again. Put it on your lips, pucker up. A dependable item in crucial times. Stay safe by keeping one at home and one at the office. It is indispensable. If you are health conscious, buy this, idiot. Alamar doesn't got lips, though. That's true. I'm shocked. I can't believe this is the only stock of medical supplies we've got. If one of us were to get ill or injured, we'd be in serious trouble. We'll have to be sure to watch our step and always wash our hands. We could also search for medicine among the treasures we've collected. It's for fucking herpes. Any, uh, any other ones of these have a sales pitch? How do you know which ones have sales pitches? It's not because they're yellow. With the assistance of the blue Pikmin, we found a canister of paint today. I used it to give, ship, to give the ship a fresh coat of paint. But did it thank me? No! As a space pilot, I've always treated my ship like a trusted companion, even if it is a smartass. Uh, Alec. Yes, that snobbish ship has the gall to complain about the color. There's no pleasing it. Forget this. I'm going to bed. Wait, did I say give shit? Whatever. Olimar can cuss. Let Olimar say fuck. Yeah, what determines if it has a sales pitch, huh? I guess only specific things. It's just arbitrary. Each treasure is part of a series that you have to complete for a sales pitch. Okay, so... So if I have... So healing equipment, healing shit, will get sales pitches. Wild Desert, look at the top. Two citrus fruits in a row. I know what you're doing. Those two make up a set. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I got all the colors. Let's go... There were some, some wet areas I wanted to explore here. Let's, let's get the blues. You can pretty much do anything now. Oh. Oh, wait, no, wait a minute. There were no wet areas here. Oh, I went to the wrong area. Whatever. Let's go explore. Let's find another dungeon. Oh, there is a wet area here? All right. Um, I'm gonna pull out, like, 20 of each. That'll be good. Why are you guys fucking slacking? What are you doing? What? Look at all the colors. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Um, it's the emergence cave. Okay, yeah, there there was some some water I couldn't get through. All right. Let's 
still gonna build up some numbers though. Who's gonna get it? Blue's got it. Reds, you have enough. I want... Uh... What is it? What's the switch thing? B. There we go. There we go. Okay. I don't like it when the Pikmin are, like, crying. I don't like this feature they've added, where Pikmin, like, start, like, getting upset if you don't, like, pay enough attention to them or some bullshit. Desert, they're cold. Let them in. If they're called, you're called. Uh, well, if you're called, they're called. Let me in! Okay. Throw a few up here. There we go. There we go. I think we can go explore now. After, uh... After this capsule gets digested by the onion. And it shits out some seeds. Should I bring some purples and, and white Pikmin too? Or do you think I not- I won't need them? Just purples? Bring everyone. It's a party. Get all 20 of them just to be safe. Alright. I don't think I even have 20 of purples or, um... Or white. Let's get all the fellas out. 20, 20, 20, 20. You should just use blue for exploration right now. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put the reds away for a minute. Let's go with blue and yellow. You never know when a buried treasure is going to show up, so you should always bring the white. All right. Um, you got a fair point there. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is- this is- this is for blues. Well, hold on. Let's... Uh, that- okay, I almost farted again. I gotta remember the right buttons! No, wait a minute! Now, now stop that! I almost pressed two again. I almost- I gotta stop doing that. Two makes them, like, fart and burp. This game's like Shrek. Shrek was really influential on a lot of video games. Farting and burping has never been funnier. Never press the bottom buttons. I know, like, instinctually, I feel like other games have trained me somehow to, like, think that that's, like, almost a B button in a sense. I don't know why. And for some reason, uh, deselecting Pikmin is being associated with that. I have no clue why that is. Do you hear Olimar going like, <laughs> One of the dungeons here got all your Pikmin killed. Well, I'm not gonna make that mistake. Alright, there's probably like, oh yeah, there's treasure here. There's treasure right here. I need white Pikmin for right here. Right here. Can you show us the fart? I can't! I don't have any fart juice! Louis. Louis. I'm gonna throw white Pikmin up there. 
Wait a minute, why do I hear Pikmin like being upset and shit? What the fuck? Huh? It's just the onion noises. Are they fighting? You have to drain the water first. Wait, what do you- No, he can walk around the re around the beach. I just need, like, five of them. The white Pikmin can swim? I don't think they can. That was never made clear to me. That is a jape. I, I know it is! Why would they do something that only blue Pikmin should be able to do? That doesn't sound like a good idea. That would be like the purple Pikmin being better than red Pikmin. Because they are. Oh, what is this thing? Wait, is that a fucking... Is that like hops for a beer? Yeah, that's- that's whatever the fuck the- yeah, it's a sprout! An artichoke? No, it looks like- uh, no, never mind. It's an artichoke. That ain't hops, alright. Okay, you're not why 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 would you carry it through the water? What are you doing? What what, what were they down to do? There we go. Yep. Yeah, what? What are why would they ever do that? Okay, I'm gonna throw these fellas back. The berries are jealous of the Gretchen, so they're trying to drown them. Okay, so now I... Oh, well, threw one too many. Wait, wh hang on, there's a Gretchen here! Hey! Get down there! And now I... Alright, can I rebind these controls to make it so, like... Switching to Louis is two because I keep fucking doing that and I don't know why. <laughs> I always go immediately to two. I gotta stop. It's minus. Louis. Louis. Oh wait, Olimar has to let go of his his boys. Louis. Louis. And then one. Oh my... Fuck. 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 I am... My brain is not learning the controls very well today. I just... I... I uh, I'll get it. I'll get it down eventually. Wait, I, I I feel like I'm missing some some Pikmin. No, not that. Why can I not into the buttons of this game? There's too many. Um, you'll get it down after you've killed like a thousand Pikmin. Uh, okay. There's a, just a bunch of blues over here for no reason. What about the white though? The Wiimote is a bad controller. It... I, I don't entirely agree that it's a bad controller. For this game, it works. It's just, I, I don't know. My brain is defaulting to different buttons for some dumb reason. I just need to learn the inputs, that's all.
Guys, we have to explore the moon. Desert P is a bad gamer who can't inputs. All right. I beat Genichiro in like three tries. I think I'm pretty good at pressing the buttons. Who? Don't you dare try and make me think you don't know who that is. That's like the hardest boss in any video game ever made. Oh wait, I can't do this? What's this gonna do? Oh. Eh? And I beat Orphan of Costs. And I beat Inner Agent 3. Oh, it drains the water. Okay. Oh, those are those slug fellows with the lips. Eh? <gasps> And I killed the Shamison girl. I remember that. See, I I'm good at video games. I can play video games pretty damn well. Okay, got him. And no one had to die. Take this. I also beat Dark Souls 3 and the DLC. What the fuck is this guy? Uh... Uh... I'm sorry, I don't think Boulder's supposed to do that. Okay, alright, well... Hey, you guys should, like, help with the bridge. There you go. And I'll distract these idiots. Oh, that bridge is going quick. Let me check the map really quick. Uh, God damn it, that's changing characters! At least I didn't press 2 that time. Okay, so so they're down there and they've they've taken... They're taking the pellets to the blue ship. And they'll be fine there. They will automatically go home. I don't need to worry about these fellas right now. Yeah, bridges build a lot faster in this. I guess because, like, time is less important. Beyond, like, daylight. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'm becoming a Pikmin. I do like all the quality of life changes, though, this game is doing. No, Barry, you have to go home with your other- with your brothers. Come on. This- this is a very good sequel to the first game. It just, like, doubles down on pretty much everything that the first game did well. Makes the puzzles a lot more, you know, interesting. Gives Pikmin more, like, specific, like, you know, tasks to do. It feels like you have to solve shit now. While you're also simultaneously going on an adventure. And then, like, I don't know, the, the procedurally generated dungeons is a pretty neat idea. At least it's always different. Bomb rocks are gone, though? Or are they not in this game? Bomb rocks came back in 3, though, and everyone can pick them up.
There are bomb rocks in this game. Oh, there are hazards in this game. Are the dungeons procedural? Uh, I was informed that the dungeons are randomly generated, so they must be. Like the layout. Obviously not the bosses. Or are, are the bosses even random? Are the bosses random? No. Okay, so the final floors aren't random. The content is the same, but the layout is random. I mean, that's interesting, at least. I can see why some people argue that the, the, um, the cave system feels like padding because it's procedurally generated as compared to, like, Pikmin 1 and 3 just having really detailed handmade maps. Depends what you want. I don't know. I, so far, I, I like the mechanic. I feel like the caves are like, alright, let's go do some fucking Pikmin puzzles and have some, you know, combat. Let's have fun. Yeah, I, I've heard there's a lot of division about Pikmin 3. Like, some of the fans really prefer Pikmin 2. And then... The fans who prefer Pikmin 2 do not like Pikmin 3 because it removed a lot of what they like about Pikmin 2. But people who like Pikmin 3 don't like Pikmin 2 because of what Pikmin 2 did. And then there's Pikmin 1, which is just universally loved by everybody and is a fantastic, beautiful game that is very good. It's perfect. Your auntie sent me some cookies. Now I only meant to taste one, but then I ate them all. Sorry, to make up for it, I shall officially make you a cookie specialist. <laughs> you hate one, it stresses you out. All right, I've heard that argument. One is pretty stressful. But I feel like one's like super replayable though. The thing I like about one is that it's so fucking short. And it encourages, like, like getting through the game as fast as possible. One is bad. The AI is extremely faulty. I, I like it. I love one. I don't know. I, maybe I just like it because I played it over and over and over so many times. If you know, like, what you're doing in one, generally, you can get through it pretty quickly. Like, I, I did pretty good. And I hadn't played it in years. I don't know. If you like replaying games over and over, one's really fun, I think, for that kind of person. If you're that type of person who likes replaying games and being, like, efficient at them. Because some people really like that. One is fantastic for that. This is a much slower experience, but it's, it's meatier. There's more to do. Um, which is, which is great. And then three seems to kind of be a mix of one with the story element and the, the no procedural generation. Although it does, for all the quality of life changes it makes, it seems to also like remove features too that are core to the series. Like being able to like march your Pikmin around with the little, like, like the little song that's gone for some reason. I don't know why they would ever do that. Um, there are touchscreen controls for that game, which is weird. I, you just click on shit on the screen and your Pikmin just bum rush it. There's automated, like, tasks for Pikmin you can make them do, which is kind of cool. There are some things it does really well. I like the first person idea. That game is beautiful, by the way. I, I like, all the footage I've seen to it is, it's really impressive that that was on the fucking Wii U. Which makes me want to switch one so bad, because I feel like if they could make a game that pretty on the Wii U, they could definitely make a game super, super pretty on the on the Switch. Also, you could, like, control all the captains at the same time with, like, the touchscreen and shit. Which I don't know if they would be able to do if they ported 3 to the Switch, not easily. They would have to, like, implement some new micromanagement system. I never played Nintendo Land. I heard there was a Pikmin thing in it. It was like co-op. Water Dumple. Ichthyosa Felinus. Felinus. 
Grub Dog family. Wait, these are Grub Dogs? What the fuck? You're kidding. These are... Okay. All right, Nintendo. A resident of the freshwater pools and marshes, this aquatic creature regularly feeds on insects that land on the surface of the water. It shares a nearly identical skeletal structure with its close relative and terrestrial cousin, the Bulborb. This may offer clues to its evolutionary origin and suggest that it only recently emigrated to an aquatic habitat. Yeah, but what about its eyeballs, Olimar? Why would it... Why would moving to the water make its eyes vestigial? That doesn't make sense. That's really fucking bizarre. Well, but I say that because, like, most things in water need their eyes. Because there's, like... There's a lot of dimensions to, to being a water creature. Have a carrot. You think they're hidden? Even then, they'd be like... They, they're either hidden or they're reduced. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No. Oh, I, I think I do see them. No, wait. Or maybe that's just coloration... ...along their lateral side. I thought there would be... I thought, like, you... Okay, take a look at their, like... Around their mouth, there's, like, a dot... ...in one of the, uh, the textures on the side. They used to have whiskers. Oh. Well, they've got some kind of sense. What the fuck? It looks like it has a skull. You look at its face. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how this thing, like, senses its environment. You see it? This thing's the most metal creature in Pikmin. Any other new ones? Beak! Oh yeah, spiny alien treat. The Valley of Repose is blanketed with a layer of snow. Despite this, here and there, plants are sprouting out of the snow. I don't know how much longer the snow will last. It seems like it's getting warmer each day. I wish our frosty financial predicament would warm up a bit. Oh look, it's a citrus fruit. Okay, now that I've... I made some progress there. I'm gonna keep exploring. Actually, wait a minute. You guys are telling me like there's end game like shit. These these dungeons are really hard. Is are there easier dungeons I should work on? Like what about the I thought that said Hall of Beans. Like what about Awakening Wood? Go to Perplexing Pool. You haven't unlocked the end game. I know, but like people are telling me like the Valley of Repose caves are like super difficult. Thinking about those beans. Have you done Glutton's Kitchen? Nope. Awakening Wood and Pool. There was a like uh there was one right at the start of, of uh Perplexing Pool. Yeah, let's go to that one. Why does the Piclopedia say new? It, it says it every time I, I discover something new until the next day. Do that one and take white Pikmin with you. I mean, I would anyways, but... I'm gonna take, like... I'll take, like, half of them. Round it down. Don't do the water dungeon. You're not mentally ready. I am mentally ready! I am ready! Let's fucking go! Bring more. You aren't ready. I am ready.
This one, right? How hard could this fucking be? How hard could this fucking be? I'm sorry, are those gonna eat my Pikmin while a cutscene plays? This is not the water dungeon. Oh, are you? You're shitting me. Hey. That that's a little scummy. Oh, oh, you guys are saying it's a different dungeon that uh, that I should be wary of. All right, I well I thought because this is Water World, this was the Water Dungeon. Oh yeah, I left three boys. I should get purples too. I forgot about that. Let's grab like seven purples. And some reds. What the fuck? They're so lazy! The water dungeon is in the water only. Oh, okay. It's probably easy. I bet I could beat it. I beat Orphan of Cost. I beat Asian 3. I beat Genichiro in like three tries. Uh, I, I, I beat, uh, uh, I beat all Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, uh, listen, I, I don't want to toot my own horn. Get over here, you lazy asshole. Come on. But I mean, I'm a pretty fucking good, you know, video gamer. I, I'm, I'm, I'm up there with the greats. You got, like, uh, Donkey Kong guy. He was pretty good at video games, right? He didn't cheat. Um... Fucking uh, d d d d d the angry video game nerd, Aaron Hansen. I'm pretty fucking good at video games, man. Enter this hole with your Pikmin squad. No, I'm not better than him. I'm, I'm, I'm up there, though. I'm, I'm, I'm like, comparable. I like the butt trumpets. Stop, please. <gasps> Whoa! That's a leafy ball! Get him! Get him! Get fucking ready. For what? Look at him carry the leaf! One dollar. Damn, you can yeet them, like, downtown in this game. Holy shit. Aren't the leaf dudes harmless? I don't know, they look like they're gonna eat me. One whole poco. Is that what the currency's called? Eh? Oh, god damn it, you. I fucking hate these things. Honestly, Shearwigs can fuck off and go to hell and die. Egg, egg, egg! Egg! Now suck up the yolk! Egg alert! Egg alert! Oh god, double egg! It's a piss egg. Stop! They are not drinking pee! Don't you dare insinuate that about my Pikmin. Desert, that ain't yolk. Yes, it is yolk. Where, where are you going? What? Did one of these little guy, little men just ran off! It is nectar, you fools. Yo. <laughs> Sweaty. Nectar don't come from egg. Yo, this is some great aim. Are you f you're kidding? We've already got a death. I must be a bucket main. 
because I definitely ain't got no brain. Why is this? What is this? Just it's sheer Sheerwig City? What the fuck? Tomat. Tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato, 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 tomato. Oh, there's like, there's hidden shit here. Oh, wait, no, that was a tomato. You say tomato, and I say tomato. Tomato, tomato. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Love nugget? <laughs> Why? That's not what it's called. It's not even chicken. You say tomato, I say love nugget. That's not how the song goes. Oh, now they're singing. Everything's got here. Desert, that's a really good Louis Armstrong. Who? That was just my Donkey Kong voice. Okay. I'm just kidding. I don't know why his voice is so fun to do. It's just raspy and deep and fun. The, yeah, the trumpet guy. I know. I know. I'm not that dumb. What a wonderful world. Actually, that's not even close to Donkey Kong. It would be more like... Okay! Uh. Oh, boy. Okay, we got fire. All right. Wait, no, not the purples. Come on! They're, you guys are too... Why are they... Why are they whining? The tunnel snake. Thank you for the seven months. Hey, Desi, give me a fart with reverb. To build a dream on? Okay. There you go. It's giving me the option of making purples now. Desert, they're yawning. They're not crying. <gasps> what the fuck? I hear frogs. Hold on, I'm gonna explore a bit before I figure out what to do here. Spiders? Oh, jump drive. What's up, dude? Thank you for the 22 months. Hello, desert. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. Why? Why is that happening? Hope you're having a good day, too, though. I was a bit spooked at the start of the stream because I thought my mic was broken again, but... Uh, it seems like it it's fine, hopefully. It was really worrying though. It made like a, it made another noise before I started. I was like, oh god, what is that? I had to get it repaired because of that shit last time. Don't throw whites into the candy pop. Wait, did I? No, we still got some. It's fine. Desert, you accidentally threw some white Pikmin in there. Oh, god damn it. I think I did. You're right. Sounds like my dog. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna need the reds. You mean Logan? Yeah. My baby boy. What the fuck? This slaps! Listen. Damn! Yo, Totaka, did you make- did Totaka make this music? Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is definitely Totaka music. Absolutely. 100%. Some- that's some slick bit that that sounds good as shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? He's got a hat. Give it back. <gasps> hey. <gasps> oh god. He got fucking crushed. What? What? What is this Spidey boy doing? Dweevils like to pick up random crap lying around. Oh. All right. I mean business. Duh. They're like hermit spiders. You need to just lay off. But uh, uh. He's wearing a corpse! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's great! This is mine. He got a flesh hat. Royal Co RC Cola? Yo, I haven't seen RC Cola in fucking years. Oh my god. Creative inspiration. You should lay down next to a dweevil. Hold on, I'm gonna do that. Well, doesn't it have to- wait, uh, well, maybe this one do it? <laughs> He's so happy. Whoa! Whoa! Fuck! Oh! Well, that, that, well, that went badly. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just get fucking destroyed by a fucking thing that picked me up, jeez. Wait, do you need the purples to hurt them? I like how you like the Pikmin are fighting with it over things to pick up. No, you don't. He's not taking damage though. Oh, you need to throw them onto him. So they oh, they gotta go onto his central body. I get it. What? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Jesus, this slaps? Like, really? Damn, I love this game's soundtrack. Does Tataka still make music for Nintendo games? I really hope he does. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I have an idea. Can I... Can I get him to drop the frog? And then... Yes! 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 Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. Oh, it's a ducky head. Two Dweevil, LMAO, two Dweevil, double Dweevil. I, why 
Why is it just a head, though? Why is it just... Why is it just a head? Taxi. Curry is taxi. Taxi. Paradoxical enigma. What the fuck does that mean? Why is it called that? What's mysterious about it? I guess I am wondering why it doesn't have a head. We just don't know. What are birds? We just don't know. Paradoxical. <laughs> Hey, if you have two frozen ducks, do you have a paradoxicals? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for indulging me. Wait, what happened to them? What the hell? Why did he explode? What the hell? What happened there? Because it's a fire we dweevil. That's his special attack. He releases flames. Oh, well, I'm glad I sent the reds after him. They're elemental creatures. About to look fresh. I like how there's just like perfectly fine, completely intact lipstick in this old ass cave. It's probably been down here for millions of years. Lip service. I think we got everything. Yep, they're singing. Hey, Desert. What happened when Snake drew clock plus two ducks on the chalkboard? I don't think I read that correctly. Can you, like... What, what is the pun you're making? Time two ducks? I think I read that in the worst way possible. Extremely literally. I'm bad with reading puns, man. He cared a- Oh, he made a time paradox. Uh, there you go. I'm an idiot. I've heard it called a time pair of socks before. What is that from? Wasn't that from, like, that Adventure Time ass-looking cartoon? Yeah, Bravest Warriors, that was it. You make a time, Parasox! I only saw a couple episodes of it, but it wasn't bad. It was pretty good, actually. Did that show ever, like, conclude? I think I only saw, like, a couple episodes and then just dropped it. It's still going? What?! Oh, it's on VRV. Oh, is it? Uh... Oh. Okay. Electric ass, huh? Looks like a job for the yellers. Get him! The electricity instant kills Pikmin, not the yellows. Ass to ass? They're like electrically docking. It's how they mate.
Did you see today they announced a Monsters, Inc. TV show with the original actors? Wait, really? That's kind of cool. Is it... What's it gonna be on, though? The Disney Channel, or what? What's it gonna be about? Like, didn't... They, they, they've done their jobs, they've done college... Actually, you know what? I don't like how Disney lately has been just, like, milking things. It sounds cool at first, but then I remember, like, Toy Story 3 was a really good ending, and then now it's... We're getting a four, for some reason. Oh, what are you- mm. Lately? Oh, okay. Not just lately. It's a post-movie that revolves around a new employee that looks up to Mike and Sully and wants to be on the laughing floor with them. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, it's post the original movie. Oh boy. You guys gotta be careful. The trailer for the new Toy Story seemed interesting, but it also just seemed like a repeat of like Toy Story 2 in some ways. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I like the idea of it, because it's just like, didn't we already do, like, Woody kind of, like, goes somewhere else for a while and meets new toys that are probably trying to sell him on a different way of life? Didn't we already do this? Does it need to be done again? They did it twice. No, well, Toy Story 3 was, like... Eh, it was a little bit different. It was more like, I don't know, that was more about, like, growing up and stuff. I like Toy Story 3, it was good. Oh, Garbage Nirvana, thank you for the five months. Everything old is new is old again. That's true. This shit's just gonna keep happening. Toy Story 3 was everyone except Woody goes to a new place. Yeah, that was it. And then Freddy Fazbear was there. He was like the villain. Wait, I have a- I have a red with me. Hold on. He wants to be a Steve so badly, this Gary. Look at him, now he's upset, sitting alone. Go, go, jo go join your brothers. But why don't you want to be with them? Hey! But, what are you doing? Do they bully him? Gary, are your brothers bullying you? Why do you want, why don't you want to be with them? I'll just leave him alone. It's not who he is, Desert. He's more than just a Gary. He's evolved. Look at the Steves go. And... So question, can these guys do, like, electricity attacks without, like... Oh, okay, I'm, I guess... I guess, yes, they can. I thought they required, like, two of them, but maybe they don't. There has to be at least two, but what about when they do this? Does this hurt Pikmin? Like, can I send other colors to them? It's a startup, but they, they're not actually gonna do it. Oh. It doesn't hurt other Pikmin. Okay.
All right, all y'all get out here. About to fuck this thing's day up. Imagine how like fun this game would be if they had they made like a Nintendo mouse peripheral. It would be even better than the Wii mode, honestly. I love the Wii mode as an answer to like making this more like an RTS. But like Nintendo like is sitting on a fucking mouse property. I really wish they would use for games like Mario Maker. And- and Pikmin. Like, they- the SNES fucking had it. Why- why can't we bring that back? Sunlock, hey! I know that brand! Boy, that sure makes me hungry for... Uh... Uh... What is that, beans? Oh, it's chestnuts. <laughs> is that beans?! Yeah, yeah. Water chestnuts. The touchscreen, though. Y yeah, the touchscreen worked for Pikmin 3, yeah. Um, but it's harder on the Switch, because I can't use a touchscreen with the Switch. Any functionality the touchscreen has, I can't do that if I'm streaming. It would be interesting for them to make a version of the Switch where maybe you could use the handheld mode and console mode together? I don't know how they do that, but oh god, I wish they would. I didn't mind the Wii U gamepad, I just, I don't know. It was actually kind of cool. It's just like, God, I wish I could stream. If if there was like touch screen, if there were touch screen controls in a Switch game, I wish I could use them while I was streaming. I can't. Yeah, like a wireless dock or something. I don't know. There's still treasure. <gasps> Jesus, that scared me. Okay, so this. This is a random color. Okay. I thought it, like, ate someone. I guess not. Throw one, get five. Wait, really? Oh, that's pretty cool. Five yellows. It's more than five. I mean, that was a lot of profit. Hell yeah. Uh, where's some honey? It's the only way to get more Pikmin in caves. Oh, okay. It's ten, but you lose one. It's still a profit overall. That's what this whole game's about. Profit and capitalism. And the proletariat. Or whatever. I don't know what that word even means. The pickle tariot. I don't even know what the word means. Oh, God. Get away from him, Gary! Gary's looking at him like, next time I got you, bitch. Nope. This is a Steve job. Who is Gary? Oh, you're right. His name's Greg. I, how long have I been calling the Gregs Gary? That's not right. Twelve years. My God. You forgot the names of your own children? Oh, no. Okay. Let's grab all these fellas. 
There's another swoop dude over here. I like how there's no time limit in the dungeons. That's that's nice. There we go. Fuck him up! Get him! That means they don't have to be rushed and I can take as long as I want. So, this wall now. Although I do like the time limit in one as well. I don't know. Since there's so much more to do in this game though, not having a time limit in the dungeon feels... It's a welcome addition to the dungeon. Whoa! What is that? <gasps> it's a ball! Wait, is it a ball? What is that? It's a clam! <gasps> it is a clam! And then there's an egg. It's a shelter. It's got a little pearl. Memorial shell. Okay. Hey! Purple. When purple drop you see contains the find ultra better essence. One drop contains one dose. Lose it on Castle's dose. Attacks the creatures and press one to spell. Have you tried it yet? No. Oh, whoops. <gasps> you sucked it up, Olimar! He didn't use a straw or nothing. Do the glitch. Wait, what 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 glitch? I don't know any glitches for this game. Take a sip. There's a glitch where you can get two of them. Oh, that's kind of neat. No, it's cheap. I'm not gonna be doing a glitch. This is a glitchless run. Check them. I'm trying to check the map and I keep switching characters. Colonel. Okay, what's this floor about? Flame jets, egg. I like egg. You can push the inactive captain into the drop and go drink it before they finish. Oh, that's what the glitch is, okay. So you mean both captains drink at the same time. How are you enjoying the ceiling surprises in this dungeon? So long as they don't, like, inflict damage on me, they're fine. It's an interesting mechanic. Having, like, random shit fall down. Let's see. Oh. That should do it. That ought to do it. Oh, you're gonna love what can fall down later on. Oh, okay. Great. I'm glad that I'm already worried now about going anywhere. Thanks. I needed that spark of anxiety. Thanks, chat. Okay, we got more poison boys. Uh, I think I should take the reds with me for a little bit. Oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you come over here with the other Pikmin. Leave them alone. 
Take that. Well, actually, no. Well, let's let's get rid of these first. What? What? Ooh. Why is there? Hey! <gasps> oh no! The Gregs! What the fuck is this thing? It's a damn hermit crap! <gasps> Woo! Hey! <gasps> Get ready! What? What are you doing? <gasps> no! Oh my god! This is scary! Desert, run away! I, I didn't know what it was gonna do! Those are called crawmads. Oh! My God! That creature is on the box art. Oh! Look like a crab. Just miss! Just miss with all of them! Hope you enjoyed your meal! Why? Why the fuck am I missing so- Hey, you know, this isn't working. This isn't fucking working. Alright, I'm done. Come on out. Come on. What are you waiting for, idiot? Yo, fuck this thing. I hate this thing. That cost me way too many purples. But at least now I understand. Fucking crab looking ass. He dropped a little chocolate snack. He turned my Pikmin into snacks. Oh, that looks pretty good. King of Sweets. Four thousand dollars. Four hundred thousand dollars. What's this? Some kind of book? No, it's a matchstick. What is? What brand is that? It, it's Bowser. It's Bowser matches. Four hundred thousand dollars. To fire this grip for twelve seconds. I can't do heavy. Heavy's a really hard voice to do. This match is going crazy. Flame of tomorrow. Five 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 troopers. Thou five 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 troopers. Get your free matches today! Use code word Koopa! <laughs> 866-FROAT! 866-TROOP! Let's see... What else is there? I, I need a new direction. I think I've exhausted that one. All right, that's done. Uh, this was egg. So now I need to go this way. The soundtrack for this game sounds like oh, like Totaka was having fun. Some of it's like really experimental, and then he like just like just starts like sliding slick ass beats in there, like that, like right now. Like when the combat music kicks in. It's all dynamic. Yeah, it is. It's it's actually really cool. 
I never hear a lot about the Pikmin soundtrack. It's weird to me, because it's like so actually good. He's gonna go for the uh the Pikmin I just dismissed, isn't he? Better not. What are you gonna do? You gonna go? You gonna do it? Whoa! Get him, get him, get him, fuck him up! He's not scary. He's not so bad. Serves him right. The music changes when you play as Louie. Does it? I don't- I don't hear it. Sounds exactly the same. Oh, the rhythm changes slightly. Oh, it's very subtle. I want to play as Louie. Louie sucks. Oh, In Pikmin 3, they make the crawmads look like tasty shrimp. They already look like tasty shrimp, if you ask me. I love shrimp. Fried shrimp. Rice and shrimp. Shrimp stew. Bubble gump shrimp. Shrimp gumbo. Tempura shrimp. <laughs> I like how that scene just goes for like a solid, like what, five minutes? Steamed shrimp. Oh god, wait, we need to take care of this flame vent. No, 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 you idiots! Wait! Wait, you're gonna burn! Oh my god, they're, they are making this so hard! Stop, stop! Why? Why are you... Okay. Alright, I, I guess the Steves did it. Uh, oh, Jesus. They got it! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! I was, like, really worried for a second there that I was about to lose all my Steves! Desert, just cycle them. You're right, I really should do that. Th this... I need to do that more. The Steves just went full-on Greg on that flame vent. Very proud of them. So, wait, does that mean we don't need Greg? When you are a fucking cub. Boopy. Hey, it's like, you know what happens when you make a silly noise around your dog and they go like this? My dog does that in elevators. He doesn't know what's going on. It's so cute when they tilt their heads. I don't know why. That's a developer's dog that most likely has passed away since now. Oh. Oh. Why did you have to say that? Why did you have to make go and make me sad? Yeah, you're probably right. He has been immortalized in, in a very good game. A, a very good boy. A very good game for a very good boy. Listen to the Pikmin sing. It's making me happy again. Look at the bright side. Maybe the dog was dead when the game came out. Yeah! Y yeah! Yeah, Sharon! Y y There's a silver lining to everything! Shh! 
Jesus! It's the cherry on top! The Sharon on top. <laughs> Shut your big head up. Are you winning, son? Yeah, I am. Uh, we're, this is the final floor. Oh, shit. This is the final floor. Okay, well, we're about to get a big death count increase. Boss time. Oh, boy. Ooh, that's- that is a rather sizable arena. Okay, let's take a look around really quick. Some treasure. Oh, crab! Got it! Just spray and pray! Get him! <laughs> Fuck him up! Oh, did I get him? <gasps> Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a spicy spray. I've I've accidentally farted many times in this game so far, so yes. It makes Olimar fart. And all of his Pikmin get pissed off because of it. And the other one just makes him burp. Uh, okay. All right, that's the way back. Anything over here? No? Nothing up there? It looks like there's something up there. Well, maybe it's the other one. This one. There we go. I gotta remember that I can do that. I could sort my Pikmin and throw them. I never fucking do that. <gasps> That's like a whole fucking diamond! The Chaos Emeralds! Olimar chuckled. The Chaos Emeralds? Wait, where, where are they fucking go- Where are they fucking going? Oh. Regal Diamond. Okay. I saw a video the other day of, um, of Minecraft, and the caption for the video is, Do not watch if you're the faint of heart. And it starts off with the guy mining diamonds with a wooden pickaxe. He takes the diamonds and crafts a wooden sword. <laughs> from a furnace. There is a lot of layers in that video. My god. It made me uncomfortable for some reason. And I don't even consider myself that big of a Minecraft head. Desert, spare the purples. Hold on. <laughs> I press the wrong button again. All right, everyone, let's go. Oh! Oh, it's this asshole. Oh, no.
Oh god, 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 oh god. I got it. No, 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 get out of there. Get out of there. I've only lost three. You've only lost three. Fuck. Whoa. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Here's the key. That's just a straight up Mario Bros. key. Nice. And only three died. Yo, that spray is great. Oh no, Desert. The Phantoses are gonna chase you. Wait, only one gets to carry the key? Alright. He is the chosen one. Look at him go! Yo, he's doing great. <laughs> it's just so massive in this one little boy. He's carrying it all the way. He's been training with the purples. Holy fuck! Here's the key! <laughs> we gotta get SpongeBob back! This object seems familiar. I will combine it with the president's parallel dimension controller. Wait, what? Wait. I'm sorry, what? Our sensors indicate a massive dimensional shift out of this location. I'm receiving a message from El Far Flung Dimension. Display the message now. Challenge mode can now be accessed from the title screen. Israel 2019. Yeah, I heard about challenge mode. I heard it was really fun. So wait a minute. That establishes lore that the Mario universe is from a separate dimension. Because everyone claims that, like... Okay, well, there are some series in the Nintendo, like, universe, in the extended universe in the Nintendo series, that, like, they share... Some of them share, like, galaxies, some of them share, like, universes and planets. But, like, Donkey Kong and Mario are supposedly the same universe. But I guess Pikmin is a different dimension. Desert, that was your dimension the message came from. It unlocked in, it in your universe. Wait, what are you talking about? This is my universe. Pikmin is real. This is based- this is Earth! Yeah, Mario's vs. Rabbids. Wait a minute, Mario vs. Rabbids established that Donkey Kong lives in a different dimension, right? Wait, I, I, but, but Mario and Donkey Kong had a history together. I don't get it. Mario vs. Rabbids isn't canon. It's not? I thought it was canon. Says you have to let go. I don't want to. I need to know the lore. Hey, 
If I don't know the correct lore, no one's gonna take my Wikipedia seriously. The Super Mario Wiki is always taking the credit for the, the, the fucking lore dumps I research. I try so hard to make sense of the Nintendo timelines. And no one cares! No one cares! No one wants to see that shit! It's fucking bullshit. Oh, Rissa, what's up? 17 months. Thank you very much, Rissa. Love Nugget. Yep. <laughs> it ain't chicken. It's a tomato. I'm kind of confused why they called it a nugget. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Rissa. When are they going to make a Pikmin dating sim? You stop! You knock that, that you, you knock that the heck off right now. You not in my chat room. Unless of course we're dating Olimar. That's fine. Desert, he's a married man. Exciting! Hey! What's 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 love without a little risk? Desert, that's home wrecking. I think he already has a wrecked home, according to the logs in this game. He talks about how mad his wife gets at him. He has a rectum? Well, everybody poops. I want to see how long, like, it takes to beat these sh Oh, wow! Wow! You really do- You can really beat shit up in this game, huh? Oh, Louie will help you. Huh. You are significantly stronger in this game compared to one. Alright, I'm out of here. Except you can't heal this time. Oh, is that the catch? I... So standing in... In the light of the ship? No. Okay. Well, alright. That is... That is the... Uh, the catch. It got nerfed in three, though. The music is now slowed down. We got beeping. I should end the day. You ha you gotta have the glove to take a nap. I do have the glove. Wait a minute. This heals me, right? I I do have the glove. How do I how do I use it? Glove does nothing. He was kidding. Oh, sleeping makes time go by faster, though. Wait, does it? Are you guys just, like, doing chain japes on me right now? It's not going faster. What are you talking about? Pikmin need to carry you. Oh, yeah, I know. Pikmin carry you when you sleep. Yeah. I mean, there's this little function. Oh, whoops. Well, wait a minute. No, you have to dismiss them and then... Oh, whoop. Eh, eh, yep, bop, bop. No. There you go. Die. That didn't heal me. Hey, Desert, press one. Nah, that's okay. I know what that does. Um... You want to try the water dungeon, though? I don't think you're ready. Where is it? You guys keep talking about this water dungeon. I haven't even seen it yet. It's a place where you, like, need to take blue Pikmin, right? Hey, Desert, press three. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. There is no three butt on the Wii mode, you, you dangus. You 
You should get a hundred water Pikmin before you even do that. Oh, I know, I read that already in chat. People are warning me, it's incredibly difficult. I'm gonna explore with some blue Pikmin, though. Yeah, there was a water door down there I want to beat up. All the boys. How come they sometimes just, like, accumulate by the, the fucking, uh, ladders? Slides. Legs. It's behind the shot gate, then in deep water. Okay. I'll need yellows then for that. You might want to build up your blues. I'm about to. There we go. I gotta say, the Wii U version of this game is pretty damn good. It's not like HD, but it's probably the best the game has ever looked, like ran on official hardware. At least it's widescreen. It could be a tad less ver blurry, though. It's just the Wii version? Yeah, you're right, it is really just the Wii version. If there was one thing I could do away with, it would be the motion blur aspect of the Pikmin games. Pikmin games have a lot of blur in them for some reason. A remaster of one would be fucking great. That game... I love it so much, but man, it's um, when I first started playing it, it kind of hurt my eyes a bit. Hey, Desert, if you press A near a sprout of Pikmin, you pluck it out of the ground. Wow, I didn't know that. Thank you. It's to hide the extreme LODing the games are doing? Eh, probably. I'm assuming there's a reason behind it. But it's rather intense. This game has amazing water. Alright, calm down. <laughs> it's not that amazing. I miss water, dude. What is he doing now? Do you think he's still reviewing water in video games? He's so passionate about it. Water guy has a Twitter now? What? Does he? You gotta... It, um, Miker, you gotta show me. You gotta show me his social media. I need to know. I need to know what games have the best water. He has a Steam Curator page? Is it really him, though? Because Steam Curators are often, like, bullshit. It's probably not him. But I, I, I do need Waterman's recommendations. No, he said he should open a Steam Curator page. Yeah, he really should. Yeah, he absolutely should. You mean Vine Sauce's Steam Curator page is bullshit? I ain't saying nothing. No, I think that one's legit. Do you remember the Hodor one? Do people still like the Hodor one? The Nep Nep guy. I, I've seen that one so many fucking times. Is that because I have Jabroni Mike in my Steam friends? Is that why it keeps showing the fuck up? Yes, probably. No, it shows up for me, too. Oh. You don't, and it kept showing up. That one just gets... I just see it all the fucking time! Oh, oh. I'm surprised they're not getting crushed. Oh. No deaths? Really? Oh. Huh. How did that work? 
In the first game, they would have... These frogs got fucking nerfed. Oh, yeah, they got nerfed hard in this game. That would have killed a lot of Pikmin. How are you liking this new area? I like it a lot. It's pretty. I mean, it's it's clearly the one... The area from one with, like, some changes, but... I don't know. I like how it's less difficult this time. Especially with the frogs being nerfed. Holy shit, in the first game, they are hard to fight. Like, that body slam it does... ...can... F ...just... ...fucking destroy you. Got nerfed just like Greninja. <laughs> I still find Greninja pretty fun to play as, honestly. I beat Connor as Greninja once. Nintendo hates frogs. I don't think so. He's fun. I like Greninja's mobility. He's, like, probably one of the most fun characters to just, like, leap around and do stupid bullshit as. I will say, though, Olimar, I can't play if there's any lag going on. If the game is lagging at all, I- I can't fucking- I can't fucking play as Olimar! He's- He's so reliant on projectiles, it's almost impossible. It sucks, too, because, like, some of my friends I like to play with, but it- it has, like, that tiny little bit of lag. And I can't play as Olimar, then, because it's- it's too hard. Greninja's fun, though. You can- you can- you can play as him with lag, it seems like he's fine. Oh, I know if you end the day with Pikmin in your squad, they run back. That's a mechanic in one. Hurry, gather your Pikmin! Listen to the noises Louis makes. <laughs> no! No! Angry! Hulk smash Percy! So fat, she got on the, the on the weight scale, and it's a to be continued. No, don't talk about my mom. Calm down, Hulk kid. Stop a farting, Hulk kid. Stop a running in the halls. Stop. I like the episode where they go to the White House. And like, <laughs> it's like Obama's the president, and he gets pissed off and turns into Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but green. What the fuck is the Hulk Kid channel? That is such a bizarre fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> Desert, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Hulk Kid. It's the most fucking weird channel on YouTube. <laughs> oh, 14 died today. Some say that you should look to the past, to places you've been already, in order to find new- in order to make new finds! Of course, extraordinary people like me always press onwards. Play it, Desert. It's time. I don't want to play the whole episode where they visit the White House. It's long as shit. They get, like, their mom to, like, act as Hulk Mama. And talk about how beautiful all the paintings are, and like they shouldn't run the halls because the CIA is going to chase them. <laughs> Look at all the paintings. Hulk kid, you are making Hulk Mama angry. Play it at two times speed. No, no, 
God, what am I doing? I play Hulk Kid Walmart. Full movie, Hulk mom takes Hulk Kid to Walmart. Is this the right one? Is this the right one? Yeah, yes. You have to behave yourself. <laughs> you guys are gonna fucking flip the shit. Look at this. <laughs> you have to behave yourself. We are in Walmart now. You cannot run around. We have to buy the groceries. We have to buy a lot of vegetables. <laughs> they got their now mom go to do this. And get me some potatoes and onions and um, carrots and tomatoes. Hold on. Where, where, where does it get good? Zucchini because we're going to make some. <laughs> then, Hulk kid, you make Hulk mama. Angry <laughs> Oh my god These people watching us, whole kid Stop fighting, I told you Hope kid, okay, hope kid you did so good for a while. Start, but you, you running up and down and fucking stop <laughs> farting, for kid. Fucking you stop farting! Run. God. Listen. Desert, what is this? Art. It's art, alright? It's art. Don't judge me. It's art. You make a hawk mama angry. That was legit better than any Marvel movie. <laughs> there's like multiple YouTube channels of this Hulk Kid official. Like, there's there's multiple ones. Those videos don't feel real. They feel like manufactured or something by a robot. It's so odd. Desert the Piclopedia. Oh yeah. Stop a fucking farting, Hulk Kid! <laughs> There's a, there's a sequel to that, too, where he starts, like, running through Walmart and, like, knocking people over, and there's, like, fart with reverb. It's great. There's another one where he, like, saves the Titanic. He goes back in time with a DeLorean. Why Walmart? Why not? Why male models? Sounds like quality stuff, does it? Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Look at him electrocute the carrot. <laughs> That's not how you eat a carrot. A node beetle. Scarabum Electrodia. Scarab beetle family. This specimen is representative of... Excuse me. I almost burped into the mic. Of an insect hybrid that uses electricity in addition to glycogen for its energy. This game continues to impress me with, like, all its big words in scientific jargon. I feel like an intellectual. Although difficult to confirm due to their microscopic size, tiny hairs on the creature's legs cause the friction that generates the electrical charge. The electrical charge is processed by the creature's internal machina, battery structure, and then stored as a deus electrifical... Fi what, what the... F I, I, you, Nintendo, you, are you invoking deus machina? This game is everything. This game is like sex. It has herpes. It is God. This game is everything. As this field re reaches critical levels, surplus electricity is emitted, resulting in a low voltage current that is transmitted between specimens. That's, that's just Latin. It's, 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 I don't know. My, my brain's a bit broken right now. It can shock other creatures in the immediate vicinity. Considering this process, it can be surmised that the largest impetus, 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 impeter, to pack behavior is not so much for syn synergic, synergic effect of producing as a pack as it is to take advantage of this most effective means of group preservation. 
Jesus Christ! Have a carrot. Yo, Alamar went to school. He is very learned. Look at him wiggle. He loves carrots. Hate this guy. Hermit Crawmad. I thought it said Hermit Crab Word. <laughs> Camabaris Rustica. Crawmad family. Looking at the eyes and sickle shaped legs characteristic of Squeelas, one would think that this is a Squeela relative. In fact, it is a relative of the hermit crab. This species, however, is migrated from seaside life in a shell and instead inhabits burrows in the ground. While its legs appear sickle-like, they are pincers that have evolved into a fin shape. This beast feeds on small creatures that pass by its lair, dragging them inside to eat them. <gasps> My god. Oh, here we go. Fiery Dweevil. These guys are really funny. Will it pick up the carrot and wear it as a hat? Please pick up the carrot and wear it as a hat. No. Damn it. I just wanted one thing. Fiery Dweevil. Mandarakana Nepalmans, Dweevil family. Members of the Dweevil family are known for carrying objects of astounding size on their backs, they're mimicking them. The fiery dweevil is one species in this family. Generally, this is a very gentle insect that feeds on grass nectars. But when faced with danger, the fiery dweevil ignites flammable internal gases, juts out its jaw and spews scorching flames. As this clearly makes it a rather dangerous insect, it is best not to linger directly in front of it. Have a carrot. It farts out its fucking mouth. Sometimes I do that when I talk. Oh. Yellow Wallywog. Amphicaris frodenum. Amphituber family. Amphituber. This magnificent specimen has the brightest gold coloration and the greatest number of lateral spots of any member in the Amphituber family. This species seems to have lost some swimming proficiency with the evolutionary adaption that granted it greater jumping ability. The Amphituber inhabits aquatic shallows and shows an, an instinctive drive to jump upon and squash smaller creatures. God, I wish that were me. Hey, Desert, press one. Dang. <gasps> he cannot be contained! You have to see Louie's notes, they're hilarious. I know, I don't have them unlocked yet. I know, people have been demanding that, and I... I'll get them eventually. I think... Oh, they're post-game. Oh, boy. Yeah, that won't be for a while. Here's a fucking flower. Have a carrot! It's a queen candy pop, but as a flora or a regina. Candy pop family, this uh, specimen constantly changes colors. When Pikmin are thrown into it, it shoots seeds that match the flower's coloration the moment Pikmin landed inside of it. The number of seeds shot out is always greater than the number of Pikmin thrown in. It could be said that this is a completely baffling plant, and many mysteries remain over precisely what sort of relationship it has with the Pikmin. It would appear that the Pikmin gain all the benefit of the, from the relationship. Perhaps it is simply a different variety of Pikmin to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking 
I gotta stop. I gotta stop. <laughs> Skitterleaf. Russ pseudo arabicans. Scuttering family. The skitter leaf is a relative of the pond skater that sheds its wings and adapted to life on the ground. With no residual traits of its airborne past, the skitter leaf can neither fly nor skit across the surface of the water. The wings have since evolved into the leaf like structure on its back, which serves to hide the skitter leaf through mimicry. It appears quite effective, as few predators can see through this clever disguise. Desert, you scare me how good you sound like Mike. I scare myself with that shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, BD Longlegs. Does he want a carrot? I fucking hated this guy in Pikmin 1. BD Longlegs. Pseudo Arachnia. Armoralis. Arachnorb family. Norb? Arachnorb family. Although this creature is commonly associated with spiders, it is actually the result of a separate evolutionary line of insectoid creatures. Since the spherical body section supported by the creature's legs carries most of its internal organs, there appears to be no other features that would correspond to a head or abdomen. What the fuck? It ain't got no head? Or a butt. Huh. I really, really like this Piclopedia thing. Again, it's a shame that they didn't put this into the, uh, into Pikmin 3. I, I don't get why they would remove such an interesting, cool feature. What's up, Kimmy? I love this game. Pikmin's going great. Love nugget. It's a fucking tomato. That ain't a nugget. This tasty red snack isn't quite a fruit, but doesn't seem like a vegetable either. I've analyzed it extensively, and it appears to be releasing stimulating pheromones. Maybe I should feed it to my wife. Shut up, all. <laughs> what is this? King of Sweets. I've discovered a complex series of underground tunnels beneath the perplexing pool. It seems like I can't walk ten steps without discovering something previously unheard of. Making new discoveries nourishes my explorer spirit. As a reward for my latest scientific breakthrough, I think I'll eat this grand sweet. You're not supposed to eat your discoveries! What are you doing? Are Olimar's like all over the place in this game? They gave him almost too much personality here. Memorial Shell. I observed several species of shell dwelling creatures inhabiting the perplexing pool. One of these feisty beasts forms a spherical gem within the meaty depths of its shell. In a way, this gem could be considered this creature's life work. I consider my children my life work. Oh. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh. Flame of Tomorrow. Five, five, five troopers. From the beginning of time, my people have searched for a perfectly clean, endlessly renewable energy source. Unfortunately, we've never found anything close to it. Rubbing these two objects together seems to produce fire. Maybe this is the long lost energy source we've always been searching for. What, combustion? You, you're, you, you couldn't find combustion? But you have a rocket ship. What the fuck are you talking about? How does your rocket ship fly, like, fly then? It looked like fire to me! Oxygen doesn't exist for him. So how does the- how does his jet's engines- wh whatever.
That doesn't make fucking sense then. How, how, how does rocket work? Puppy. This must be some kind of a memorial capsule left by a lost civilization. It has been left behind some... It has left behind some image data, but I can't make any sense of it. I'm going to have to do some additional analysis. I'll document any exciting new developments in my log, along with pages and pages of meaningless doodles. <laughs> oxygen exists for him. The oxygen on Earth is just in too high of concentration. Yeah, they, they say in the first game, the oxygen is poisonous because it is. And he is a tiny, tiny little guy. So I imagine like the levels of oxygen on Earth that we breathe would be like astronomically, exponentially, you know, more deadly to him. Because it is, it is actually a poisonous gas. People die every day from, you know, consuming uh, dihydrogen monoxide. I've never had such desire to climb the corporate ladder, but I'm beginning to think I should. Every year my kids grow older, they get more expensive. Taking care of them is my most important duty. Duty. I should take lessons from the ship on how to be a high-pressure salesman. Then I'd rake in the cash. Why are you talk- Oh, lip service, I get it. I was like, why is he talking about this with this? Very funny. The other day, my daughter begged me to get her some jewelry. She's becoming so fashion conscious. I know girls grow up quickly, but I never imagined it would happen this fast. This isn't even about the item, he's just ranting. This is the duck head. That's very cursed. Paradox, paradoxical enigma. I'm not just an intergalactic space captain, I'm also an artist. I see the inner beauty in everything. Some things other people call ugly and boring, I find intellectually stimulating and aesthetically pleasing. It's true. I'm sophisticated like that. Alamar has got a big-ass head now in this game. I, I, I love it, and I hate it. His ego is gigantic now. And Desert thinks Olimar is the better captain. To be fair, we wouldn't even be here on this godforsaken rock if Louis hadn't gotten attacked by, quote-unquote, uh, ravenous space rabbits, or whatever the fuck he said, that ate all the pick-pick carrots. It's all Louis's fault. If only he was smart enough to not crash ships. Could you dodge an asteroid? I want to ask you, could you dodge an a I'm talking like Jeroni Mike again. Could you dodge an asteroid? <laughs> yeah, I could too. You know what? Almar sucks at driving. He's like a Texas driver. Fucking running through intersections about to T-bone me. Patience tester. Wait, what? Why? That, this is water chestnuts. When I see a closed container, I cannot help myself. I feel like I must open it and see what's inside. But when opening it, it could lose its value. I guess I'll just have to use my imagination. It's just fucking water chestnuts! He thinks these are valuable. Goddamn RC Cola. Fascinating. If I keep staring at this symbol, I know I'll come up with a brilliant idea for a new product. I haven't... I haven't seen RC Cola in so fucking long. I forgot it existed. It's just fake Coke. It's like as if they had, like, a can of Dr. Thunder in this game. <laughs> I like how they have 7-Up, though. And he, like, he... The, the fucking... Th th this one, on honestly... Is the funniest one, I think, so far. Because it's like, When I peer at this treasure, I can't help but want to take a drink! It's so, like... 
bladed advertising for 7-Up! <laughs> That's very funny. Can't believe they've done this. I think that's everything. Delicious 7-Up. You gotta buy RC Cola at, like, weird bulk stores, like Sam's Club. Ah, oh, yeah, that's probably where you can get it. Cool spot confirmed for Smash. Oh, yeah, the key. I forgot the key. How did I forget the fucking key? Where is it? Here's the key! It's just a big-ass Mario key. This item came from the personal treasure hoard of a massive Pikmin devouring spider. The whole cave was crawling with all kinds of fearsome creatures. I decide to name that eerie cave the Citadel of Spiders. <laughs> the ship can't stand bugs. Whenever I ask it to store a specimen for salvage, it threatens the stage of mutiny. Jesus. You know what? I agree with the ship. Spiders suck. Ugh. <sighs> All right. This game is great. This is... This is a very good game. My god, I love it. Um... However, I think that's a good point to leave it. I have been streaming for like four hours, so I'm gonna call it a night. I gotta take care of my puppy. Um... I don't know if you heard him just now. But, um... Thank you guys for hanging out for Pikmin 2. There will be more streams of this game. I'm really enjoying it. And, uh... Yeah, I think it's... It's really good. I'm shocked how good this is compared to one. And I like one a lot, too. I might like this more, though. I don't know. There's a lot to do in this game, and it's very... It's very entertaining. The time really just flies by. So, um... Thanks for hanging out, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Good. Bye.